Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I don't mind being calling Hannah, because Hannah looks beautiful. Anyway, oh, let me move my bottle. Hello, everybody. I just said to the team, I said, I'm so nervous tonight. I said, when well, you've had a few days off, the you've only been off the other weekend. I said, I know. When well, you've had a few days off, you feel like you feel like you haven't done it before. It's a bit nerve wracking. So anyway, hello, my lovelies. I'm freshly back from the... Has anybody been to Dubrovnik? Has anybody been? Anybody been on the team? No. Oh, no. it's so lovely. Oh, it's such an eye-opener. Every bay we went to was more beautiful than the other. I mean, I haven't seen Game of Thrones, so I didn't appreciate the whole Game of Thrones aspect of it, but they love live music, the food, Michelin two-star restaurants. Oh, my goodness, it was so beautiful. It was just like, you've got to go, Emma. I'm okay. going to take you, Emma. Okay. I'll take Emma. I've got to go back. It's so lovely. So, anyway, and can I also just say... Yeah, Lucy wants to come. Uh, for anybody as well, there's so many people... Because I did put a, 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 a picture on my Facebook saying we were live from six, and I did, I did use a holiday picture because you can't help yourself when you're on a boat, can you? And I had such lovely compliments back and comments and things. So I haven't had a chance to come back to you all, but just to say thank you. It's really lovely of you. And uh, we've got a great show now. Um, you may struggle to, and they're all coming tonight, be, uh, leave. <laughs> what our today's must have is because finally. Back in stock, we have the bees. 
we have the sterling silver bees and they're not just that we've got the two-tone bees we've got the bee um, chain oh yeah now we're gonna do that we've got the charms oh my goodness I'm so excited so the the chain is coming up at seven okay these bees now we've got the connectors let me just make sure I've got the other so we've got the pendant and the connectors so we've got these ones which um, we haven't had in stock for ages and they are so popular they're the ones with the two-tone um, bee oops a daisy yeah that. let's try the other tweezers so we've got the bee pendant stroke charms in the two-tone coming up they're coming up in one bundle we'll do those as our today's must-have and the good news is this is at 8 o'clock and we have a reasonable quantity. So that's good. So we've got those at 8 o'clock. And then straight afterwards, we're going to give you the matching B connectors in the two-tone. So they're going to come straight afterwards. So you want to make sure that you stay with us and certainly make sure you're with us at 8 o'clock because that's when the bees are coming in. And it's going to be the bees pendants and the bees connectors in the two-tone. And these are the style that we've had in once before and sold out instantly. We've got them on reorder for you, and we've been giving them on the Late Show for you. So those of you that watch the Late Show regularly, we're really chuffed. Now, as I said, fantastically good uh, value for money, and my lovely producer, <laughs> Ross, has managed to get them in the Late Show for you, and he's going to play them all at 8 o'clock. But the chain, now do I have the chain to hand? Okay, we'll just have a little, is it there? No. Um, it, it might, should be, but, um, and, oh my goodness me, uh, we've got the bee chain, um, we've got the bee chain, we're going to do that at 7 o'clock, so it's all about the bees, yeah, all about the bees, so we've got the bee chain at 7, we've got the uh, bee connectors, the bee pendants coming up all stroke charms, um, we've got the last of the amazing opal nuggets, 8 left, we've got those coming up for you in half an hour, all right, got you, got you, we're having sign language, me and Lucy. She's talking volumes to me with, without speaking. So, uh, shall I introduce the team to you? Yeah? We've got a surprise. We've got a young lady that's normally on the morning show with us on the Late Show, freshly back from her travels in Canada. The lovely Emma. Hello, Emma. Late Hi, Show Emma. Dance. Late Show oh. Dance. Come on, it's been a while. Status quo. Thank you. That's the uh, Emma. Have you ever seen that, Ross? She does that every Late Show she's on. Late Show Dance. Yeah. We've got... Um, to now firstly i must welcome we call this a certain shift side we've got a new resident late show producer what? he's our new boy what's well, a new he's not new to the channel but he's new to us as our permanent producer we'd like to welcome him to the dark side yes. hello ross hi ross ross is our new producer and in there waving his arms like a orangutan on the director's desk is the lovely paul oh, oh there hi, he paul. is yes he's always a door hander and this evening we have got a very talented wire worker on the show um and it's our lovely rebecca hello, hello lovely, lovely lady. lady really nice to see you all again you're very excited today aren't you i am yes because i've got loads of wire loads of I'm wire really happy. in both kits in both kits and if you want to learn how to use a gizmo, you know the gizmo, do the coil on the gizmo crank rod. We've got that tool on the show this evening. Both kits, both kits, my producer reckons he can sneak in under the £20 mark as well. He does. He reckons he can get it under the £20 mark. So shall we get started for you? If you want to message in, we love interacting, don't we? Uh, we love it when you interact. We love it when you message in. So do message in. The text number, thanks, Paul, is 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. That routes you into us like a sat nav. And let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Uh, so then, um, oh my goodness me, you've had a lovely time with that uh, mega, mega deal. The, five, the mega deal, five o'clock's going great, isn't it? You're loving that. Oh, we've got some ideas for the late show. Watch this space. So, um, is it last to stop, darling? This is where Ross goes into the show. And he's put a lovely show again. We, we did a show together last Thursday, didn't we? And you put a lovely show together for everybody. This is the Sanctuary Road. All right, Elvis. <laughs> Elvis is in the building, apparently. Um, so, then, we're going fairy lights because I saw my... I came home from holiday yesterday. Sat down to the telly last night. Got a takeaway. Couldn't bother to cook. No food in. Remembered the token milk from the airport before you come home because you don't want that not having a milk cup of tea, do you? A uh, first uh, Christmas sofa advert. Already. Already. It's not November Delivered yet. in time for Christmas, apparently, the sofa would be. <sighs> mm. So, yeah, Lucy just said, I saw that as well. Yeah, so the first sofa Christmas advert has been released. 
Now the last of stock, if you fancy, um, I tell you what, that would look quite nice on your Christmas tree, wouldn't it? It would, as a garland. As a garland, yeah, ditch that tinsel. Let's go garland. Or, I, I don't know you, I'll go white banister at home. So that would be quite nice, wrapped around a little section of your banister as you go up the stairs, wouldn't Ooh, it? Oh yeah, that would be nice. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. Five ninety-five. I love the way that does that. Five ninety-five. Now those colours, they are um, heated and dyed, and the beautiful thing is it's a stable process. So once that colour is locked in there, it's there for always. Now I took one of these on holiday with me on a memory wipe coil bracelet. And the great thing is, throw that in your, in your hand luggage or your suitcase, and that will go with everything in your wardrobe. Because you've got all the colours. Has that just sold out? It's gone. It's gone. He said it's gone. It's evaporated, apparently. You've had the lot. You've had the lot. So what we do, what we suggest you do in these, well, because sometimes you've got like one or two left. So if you see it and you think, oh, I fancied that, and you missed it, you've really got to check out quickly. Otherwise you miss it again. And there's nothing worse. I mean, what, once is, is, is an accident, twice is just, well, it's your own fault, isn't it, then? Yeah. Now, is this one of our uh, uh, mineral man? Yes. It is, isn't it? It is. They are incredible to feel. Did you get one of these? I have got one Which of those. Which one did you get? I got one of those. The I rose got quartz the one? copper. I got the, the clear did quartz. You? Oh, okay. You know oh. I'm booked. <laughs> well, it, I love these. This makes me think of um, Saruman in Lord of the Rings. That's what it makes me think of, if you remember that. This is a beautifully formed sphere. Now, can I just check, Tim? Does it come with that lovely... Does it come yeah. with a stand? Oh, isn't that lovely? Because if it didn't come with a stand... Oh, that is such a good price. So you get the stand and that 30 mil rose quartz sphere. Do you? That's amazing. I couldn't buy a bottle of fizz in Dubrovnik for that. I know, yeah. And, and I'll tell you what, that bottle of fizz didn't last long between five... Five... What's the word? But, well, I was going to say alcoholics, but that doesn't sound quite right, does it? I mean, Prosecco-loving ladies, yeah. put it that way. <laughs> What's the first thing I did when I got home? Stop drinking. <laughs> Stopped drinking. Like, no more. Well, for a day. Second day today. Doing well. <laughs> you get carried away on the holiday when you're having a good time, don't you? Yeah. And then you go up the next one, you think, oh, wish we hadn't. Now then, are you going to tell us how many we've got of these last of stocks, gorgeous face? Because it's... Right, he said, I, he said, I kind of do and I don't want to tell you. He said, this one's, there's only ten left. It's been really, really, really popular. Really popular. Can you see as well, it has got a, a, a drill hole look, very generous, but in a funny... So when it hangs, I can't really... Sh Actually... Rebecca, yes. you've got a sort of decent gauge little piece of wire that I could just, a little short sort of three centimetre, five centimetre piece I could just cut off and thread through there so we can show it. Would you mind, lovely girl? Okay, because I want to show how, oh, thanks Emma and Rebecca, thank you, lovely. Oh, it's like having my own personal assistant, isn't it? It's lovely. <laughs> so thank you, girls. Now look at that. I'm going to ask you as well, Rebecca. Yeah. Isn't that lovely to have such an unusual drill hole? It is, to go across the Ex top yeah. like that. It means it sits beautifully. You don't yeah. have to worry about putting a jump ring in to sit it facing exactly. the front. And you can really get creative with that, yes, couldn't you? Yes, you can. I think that's the only time I've ever seen us do a drill hole yeah. sort of through and on the corner like that. Yeah. I think that is just... And the it's way it's really of, gorgeous. Yeah. Now, what gauge did you give me there, lovely? Is that point point eight? Point eight. Oh, learning, Rebecca. You are. Um, see, Rebecca, Rebecca knows her wire. She knows her <laughs> gauge instantly. Now, if you like wire and you fancy m more wire than you'd know what to do with it on a good day, I hope it's a day that it's raining because you're going to get through a lot of wire in this kit and it's going under 20. Now, that rose, that, that rose quartz, it, don't forget as well, it's the gift of love, isn't it? And very much platonic love as well. So if you've got a girlfriend, your best friend's like, I've just, it's my friend. In fact, if Angeline is watching... Um, she's probably too sozzled by now, but Angeline uh, is a presenter over on Jempore and she's one of the girls that I went away with and it's her birthday today. So that would be a lovely gift, wouldn't it? Because 9 95 Now, I locked up a reed diffuser. You know, like a little reed diffuser gift, because it was a bit of an in-joke on the holiday about a reed, reed diffuser. Anyway, now I locked at a reed diffuser on the River website last night and it was £15 and it wasn't all that, so I didn't buy it. 
But how about sending a beautiful, lovely heart, which is a symbol of friendship as well, mm. that you love somebody, in a rose quartz, which is said to be platonic and in unconditional love. And I've got that for the same price as it might cost me for a bottle of fizz or a candle or yeah. a reed diffuser set. And it'll last an awfully lot longer. Won't it just? And it's a lovely thing to collect. And because of that drill hole and the way it's set, that is so wearable, isn't it? Now, it's a... There are... You've had half... You've had half the availability. I'll try and put the H on the front. Can I have a little look, Ross? Have a little... See if there's anybody I've got to give a nudge to. It's all right, darling. Because you've got so many buttons to press, haven't you, Ross? got so many buttons to press in there. And they're not all labelled. They're not all labelled. What button do you press, Ross, to make the price go? Do you have to press something? Oh, do you? I love the way the price does that to you. It's like a... I love it. Now then, if you're looking at... If, you, if you're looking at that heart and you're thinking, well, it's lovely, but I fancy something a bit bluer. And also, a bit smaller. And a Miss Piggy of the price. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, now this, um, this is a Howlite, but it's got a turquoise colour to it. So again, if you want the Sleeping Beauty turquoise look, and I love that, because of the way that's um, been set there and the way it's been cut, it actually looks as though it's got like a vine creeping up the side, it does. doesn't it, it's Rebecca? Fr it's framing the edge of the stone, yeah. isn't it? That is lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. That does. Now, from what I can see there as well, that's actually um, not drilled. So you could do a lovely wire wrap on there, couldn't you? And not actually, because sometimes we want a drill hole, and sometimes we don't, do we, Rebecca? No, that's right. It'd be lovely netted, yes. so, that, so that you can still see that. Yeah. Or prong set, yeah. top and bottom, and on the side away from the marking, yeah. so you can still see the marking. Yeah. And look at yeah. that, £3.95. £3.95. Oh, no. Oh, can I tell you what I did? Oh. Oh, really, really embarrassed us. First day you get there, you know when you try and work in out how much the, the currency is? So this lovely lunch served by this lovely lady. So I was in charge of the kitty. Thought, you know, I'm quite good at my arithmetic, aren't I? So anyway, the bill was 1100 Kuna. So I thought I'd left 10%. I thought, by putting this 10 Kuna down. It wasn't when we got back to the villa that one of the girls said, how much did you leave? And I said, you know, 10%. She said, well, what did you leave? I said, well, 10 She said, no, it should have been 100. You'd probably left her about a pound. I said, oh, no, I haven't had <laughs> And I was really embarrassed because you have that moment where you think you're giving somebody 10%. And she was a lovely lady. She gave us great service that you've actually left them, like, 40p or a pound. And it's a bit embarrassing. And I felt really bad. Really bad, Lucy. <laughs> you know, when you actually think you've looked after somebody, you really haven't. And it's like, oh, no. Funny enough, she never came out to speak to us again, this lady, this waitress. I think she was probably... I'm hoping she realised our faux pas. That's what I'm hoping, because it wasn't intentional. It wasn't good. Tell you what, can you buy a starter these days or a dessert in a restaurant for 3 95 You might get a coffee. If you're lucky. Yep. Emma's saying she saw a dessert in a restaurant, £8 for a dessert. You might get, you know, and yet we've got a genuine piece of jewellery making gemstone there, haven't we? Yeah. Say again, sweetie. Came on, look. Oh, I like the way you say my name, Ross. Oh, he says, he says my name, lovely. Say it again, Ross. Oh. <laughs> now, now. Now, now, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> now that we don't have many of these left, unfortunately. Watch out, Ross. He still hasn't given me his mother's phone number. Now, this is, when we did these, when we did these as a deed of the day over our Sterling Silver weekend, they sold out. This is the last of stock. It was me and you, Ross. And we've got the last one that somebody forgot to check out. You know, so we sold 200 in about four minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, 200 of these sold out in four minutes. And somebody has obviously forgotten to check out because we've got the last few. Rose gold plate and 925 sterling silver in this beautiful twisted rope chain design and will match the deal of the day price. Now, I know a lot of us have seen these out in the marketplace and we know the kind of price points, 50 pounds on average. The great thing is I have the last of stock on the show today coming up for you that Ross has found for you. 
for January's birthstone in this multitude of beautiful, it is my birthstone, yes, in this multitude of genuine gemstones. Oh, I had another menopausal moment with these girls. Another one. I was on holiday with these girls. They're, they're in, they've just turned 40, most of them. Sarah Bennett, member of my family, she went to... Uh, can I ask you a question? You know, you know it's not going to be a good question in your favour, don't, don't you? You're yeah. They go like that. <laughs> I said, go on, go, do you want to ask it? She went, I do. I said, go on then. Have you been through the change? What can we expect? I said, I've no idea because I haven't. But thank you for making me feel old. <laughs> oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. I was like, excuse me, I'm only 48. <laughs> but it's just the way there was that, because they're your friend, but they're like... Can I ask you? But I'd rather you didn't. Because <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, who needs friends, eh? I know, and you've hey. got family like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's good stuff. Do you know what, though? We girls have got to be able to ask each other questions, haven't we? Yes. We've got to help each other out, haven't we? And it's better to be asked than for somebody to and go away with the wrong forewarned impression. Forewarned is forearmed, as they say. Exactly. The cheek of these kids. Anyway, so silver plated toggles. Now these toggles give us jewellery makers different ways to work with different mediums, don't they? So if you've got any of the lovely paracord that Mark's worked with recently, um, or your Kumahimo, or your, your Zari rope, or things like that, this is perfect. Oh, Sarah, she said, really lovely to have you back, Z. Oh, thanks, says, did you know that Mr. Smith, CDBD, has finished his he has not. Has he? Finished his I work. spoke to him today. I had a right gossip with him. Finished his Christmas shopping. No. No. What? Oh, Luce, we're going to have to have a chat with him, aren't we? I'm halfway through, but I'm not... You're halfway through. through. Yeah. I've got, I've got a spreadsheet with one of my... Like, oh, I love you. This is why, why I love you, Luce. Lucy, I love has a spreadsheet. <laughs> Do you know why everybody laughed at me on holiday about the reed diffuser? Because a little memory thing picked up on my ping tamp on my uh, phone and went flip the reeds in the bathroom for the reed diffuser we all went are you serious have you seriously got a flip the reed diffuser reminder on your phone i went yeah because otherwise i don't really use that bathroom very often how am i going to remember to make it smell nice if i don't have a reminder all right thank you lucy's with me lucy's with me ross has gone quiet <laughs> silver plated toggle clasp cordons we will explain we will turn you onto a spreadsheet and a reminder Okay, that is four ninety five for all three. Okay, that's you have to have both of them, obviously, which I'm sure we all understand. But uh, and that's the larger of the toggle clasps with the six point two mil. Okay, thank you, Ross. How are you, Ross? Anyway, you good? Good. Are you excited about being with us? Yeah. He said, "Yeah, I am." Can't really say no, can he? <laughs> can he? No. No, I don't really want to work with anything like me. Oh. <laughs> we'll turn him round anyway, but he's lovely. He's got lovely, he's got lovely hair. Hasn't he? Has, hasn't he, though, Rebecca? Oh. See? Rebecca just said the sexual oh, hasn't he? <laughs> he's like our he's like our Lion King Simba of the uh, of the jewelry maker world. He's a beautiful my, boy. My mum had hair like that. Did she? Yeah. Oh he has got beautiful yeah, hair. Absolutely gorgeous. Now do you ever use these, Rebecca? Oh, yes, very often. Kumahimo, Mark... Kumahimo. Macrame. Macrame. Yeah. If I've done um, wire Kumahimo yeah. and glue them into there, it, it's perfect because they match the, match the wire colour. Brilliant. I right, tell you what, now we've done the silver plate, we've done the yellow gold plate. We've got the rose gold plate as well. We have indeed. Yellow gold is sold out. The, ro the silver plate, there's a... Mm, there a few left. Ooh, left. You're left. And then we've got the rose gold, which is still mahoosively popular, isn't it? Shows um, no signs of diminishing in popularity. Rose, can I also say to everybody, nobody tell me about Strictly Willie because I've not seen the last two Saturdays. No, neither so have I. So wait, are you behind as well, Rebecca? Yeah. yeah, I don't know who's gone out. Don't want to know. Oh, I know who's gone out, unfortunately, because I watched it on Sunday, me, but I won't tell you. Rose gold coloured 
toggles. Now, did you notice as well? Just to, just to, I know, I'm, I know I'm probably teaching you how to suck eggs and I'm sorry, because who's ever sucked an egg? It's a funny saying. I eat an egg most days. I've never sucked one. Chocolate egg, yeah. Yeah, but you dip your tongue in to get the insides of those out, don't you? But you don't, I've never got an egg out of a box, hard boiled it, or and sucked on it. I just never have. Never. So I anybody know where that saying comes from? Do you know how to suck an egg? Do you, why would you, why, but how, why do you compare it to, oh, you, I'm going to teach you how to suck You do eggs. if you want to paint the eggshell without, and, and keep it as a souvenir without the egg inside because so it'll go rotten. Ooh. Yeah. So you, you, you poke a hole in the air end of the egg and the hole in the other end and either suck it or blow it. Mm. I think I'll blow it, thanks. That's a funny saying, isn't it? Can we blow it? I'd rather blow it, Rebecca, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you've just joined us. But can I, just before we look at the gannet, Ross, can I just show you, that is the thinner of the two. So we've just, if we just see that the gold was the larger of the cores. If you've got a larger leather cord or paracord or what more, oh, more yeah. cord endings, that's the slimmer of the two. Looks lovely with leather. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. So there you go. Um, so well done, everybody. Um, Sarah, by the way, thank you for your message about that sleep program. I have recorded it. Although with the, the, the fizz and the uh, cocktails we were drinking on holiday, slept fine. <laughs> no, no, don't remember going to bed. Um, right then, uh, these, oh my goodness me, I bought this strand when we first launched them. The range of garnets is a great collector strand, having some of the most incredible garnets on there that you're likely to ever own, some of the rarest ones on there. Um, so if you want to own some of the most high-end, beautiful variety of garnets you can get it with this one strand now just to mention brilliantly affordable but we only have the very final and it's just above single figures just so um if you if you know anybody that's that loves garnet or has got a january birthday think of claire mcdonald think of linda brumwell um me but i've already got it i've already got it i bought it because it's great value for, it's exceptional value for money. Also, Ross, just quickly, has found the last eight. He's even arranged it so he looks like a smile. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Now we oh, have God, the last yeah. eight chances on those really collectible opals. All right, last date. Just remember, we are now approaching half an hour away from the B chain. Shall we show you? Thanks for bringing it in, Luz. I'll grab a bust as well if we can in a moment. Now then. Now, the B charm stroke pendants, connectors that we've got coming up at seven and eight, at, at eight o'clock rather, sorry, which will go perfectly with this. We've got a relatively reasonably good volume because we know how popular they are, but we couldn't get more than 64 chances of the B chain, I'm afraid. So, very, very popular. Every single time we have this on air, Rebecca, it sells out. I know, I've got it. Did you? <laughs> and I am. I think we've all got it. Gold. And there's such a weight to it. It really is impressive. It hangs beautifully. Doesn't it, though? And because you've got this sort of voluptuous body of the two-tone of the beat, it kind of rocks when it's on the neckline, doesn't it? It does. Roots, it almost it does. looks like it's they're in movement. It's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. Well, there you go. You're talking to two of us that have got it here. Okay. So we've got it. Yeah. Bye. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we've got it. So coming up at 7 o'clock. All right. Half an hour. Now then, just getting, just before we go to um, that star by... Which one is it, sorry? The, um, oh, in the layout design. Oh, Lucy. Dark. You've got this, she's got a lovely smile when she smiles at me like that. She knows what I want. I'll, ex I'll, I'll exchange with chocolate. Can I have a white <coughs> bust and a black one, please? It is greedy. Malachite. Oh, by the way, do you wear that Malachite ring I gave you? Do you? I gave, I gave, oh, she loves it. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, she's got it on a ring holder at home. Malachite. Now, Malachite's a big favourite of Emma um, on our crew here today. She's, uh, she loves it. She wears Malachite every day, don't you? She's got a necklace. She's got a ring. Most days she wears it. Now, very... I did not know we did this. We have 
we have 11 left. Now, whenever we get to such small figures of these designs and these strands and things, it, I don't know about you, it always makes me feel comfortable when I buy it because it makes me realize that so many people have bought it previously and are refusing to part with it. Is that how you feel, Rebecca? When yes, you think, when you know we're down to the last few? Oh, it's few? a bit more rare. Yeah, last, yeah. exactly. Now, I want that one. Yeah, do you like malachite? I do. Yeah, I do. It's it's such a different green from every it other is. gemstone. Totally and I unique, love the markings on it. Yeah, it's got. That's the thing. You know, it's it's got character. It's got personality. It's got things for you to really feast your eyes on. Now then, there's, there's, there's pros and cons in life. There's good and bad, isn't there? We'll give you the bad news. There's 11 left. But we'll also give you the good news. There's 11 left. You can look at it two ways, can't you? You know, we've got 11 left. In, instead of being miserable and going, now that, if you are a massive fan of green and you love your savorites and you love your peridots and your chrome diopsides and your emeralds and all those beautiful gemstones, there is a... Oh, how do I word it? There is a, a very definite, unique tone to malachite mm. with these bandings and markings, which make it so interesting and intriguing. Lucy's nodding. I'm going to ask you, Lucy, do you mind? Because you were so engrossed then, and you were so, and she was really, you know, when you chat to someone and they really agree with you and they're nodding. And, do you feel like that, what I was saying then about this gemstone? 100%. 100%, yeah. yeah. No, but you know when you know when it's lovely when you watch them. They go, oh yeah, you know, and it's a real oh yeah. I'm 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 feeling that. I'm getting that. And you're like, oh yeah, thanks. No, then this is great as well because imagine if I lay this down for a sec. Just get me bored and lay that. Oh, Daisy, if you if you have to recreate that, I'll put it I'll put it sort of in half if that makes sense. Do you have to? Let's just go along. You would have to buy one size, two size. Three size, four size. I reckon the six sizes of malachite rounds there. Six sizes going from four to twelve mil. So if you wanted to recreate that strand, you'd have to buy six different sizes of different size rounds to make recreate that design. Now that for those of us that know malachite, and I know a lot of we've we've been educating one another for years now, haven't we? Nearly nine years our birthday next year. You know that price. For that design is a steal. Not the deal of the day, but it's the steal of the day that we're going to start doing on the Late Show. That'll be our uh, unique selling point, the steal of the day. <coughs> and that really is, when you think, in fact, do me a favour, why don't you check those out? We're down to single figures, by the way. If you go to an alternative gemstone ready-made website, we know there's a few out there, do have a look at a price of malachite jewellery. Okay, because if you think about it, Janice, first one to check out, hello, lovely girl. Now, you probably wouldn't use that size as a ring. But, in fact, that's too big. I think that's too big. Let's go for a more realistic ring size in malachite. Just think, if you decide not to use it in a layout design, just how many malachite designs in solitaire rings that you could recreate from that single strand. Mm. Just in the centre of a, a really easy wire work rose. Exactly. You do Beautiful. a wire work. Yeah, you, exactly, Rebecca. You do a wire work rose base, sit that on the top, and you, you could sell that for the whole price of the strand. Easy. Okay? Easy. Now then, it's our last of stock luxury. Uh, it's our last of stock treat. So we are going to go to a, uh, you know, we give you that little star bite and give you the heads up that this is a great cracking deal. We've just got the last few and it is a real collector strand. So start by. <laughs> Garnet is such a um Oh, Belinda, good luck on that on that malachite, my lovely, at twenty nine ninety five. Good luck, it's it's nearly gone. So I do, fingers crossed for you, my lovely. So, my goodness, mate, we have got. Oh my word! When you bring the graphics in, Ross, can you bring me the um the exact breakdown? Because I think it's got something on here which I can see, which I'm really 
really surprised. There's definitely purple garnet on here. Really? Yes, really. Oh, mm -hmm. very special. There are rare, rare, rare samurai oh, garnet on there. You can see the, the Savorite is your beautiful greens, your emerald greens. You've definitely got purple look. Yeah. Very dramatic. You've definitely got uber rare colour change. Specitite. On Specitite, there. definitely. Now, is that mandarin? Yeah, can you see? Yeah. Now, your Specitite your bright look. Your mandarin is a very Moroccan cinnamon paprika garnet there, isn't it? Oh. You've got colour change. There's another purple. Oh my goodness, I've got two purple. Have I got two purples? Oh my goodness, look. There's two purple? Three? Definite three purples there, which super, super rare. So the thing is, you're an instant collector. The second you get this. Now we know garnet's got a good hardness as well. You, we know that every single garnet on there is natural. Now you would assume, wouldn't you? We know that obviously sometimes we have to dye a gemstone or we have to heat it to increase or reduce the colour. But to get those colours, that real warmth, and it is a very spicy warmth to those, all naturally. Now the thing is, at that price point, when we first got given this strand to launch, we were told $69.95, and I'll be, all of us will agree here, there's nobody, it's not really arguable, and everything's got an argument to it, because there's always two sides, worth every penny. When you've got Specitite, Mandarin, Purple, Savorite, these aren't colour change. These aren't your everyday garnets. Now, the reason, now can I also find out exactly how many we made of this strand, Ross? Can you recall? Okay. When we bought this in for a deal of the day, we made 525. 12. 513 are staying with jewellery makers. We have the last 12 in our vault in this studio today for you. Now, obviously, what a lot of places do is when they're down to the last few, I mean, I won't talk about what's just happened in the industry, but we all know with regards to holidays and then certain prices of things are being put up, aren't they, by naughty mm. people? We all know what we're talking about. We don't do that. We will maintain the original deal of the day price for you. When it comes to the rarity of garnets on this strand, you know... You will see that the price that we're coming in at, you will fully understand. I would paint for the three purple garnets on the strand, let alone the orange specitite and the paprika mandarin and the colour change. And savorite, as rare as savorite is, and we're under, didn't work, Ross. You haven't done it, darling. I always said, computer said no, oh, the com computer's not letting you. 24 carats of multi-colour, uber-rare garnets on there. Janet, congratulations, sweet pea. Yay. Y yay. <laughs> yay. A £40 saint. Do you know what that could do for you on the Late Show tonight? Buy both kits. Yes, it uh, could it. Yes, it could it. I don't know how much my kits are going for. Both of that your kits, I'm going to tell does. you now, my producer says he's going to sneak your kits down, each of them, to under £20 tonight. You're all joking. That, no, I'm not joking. Mm-hmm. <gasps> mm -hmm. Wow. It's like, no, it's like when I say to my, my niece and I go, say something to her, and she goes, no way. And I go, yes way. <laughs> no way. It's like, yeah. £29.95 now. There's a collector, obviously, coming in for those. That makes sense. We also have the lovely Janet. What a lovely treat. It's just, do you know what's lovely as well? The fact that you've got rondelles. We know, we're know we comfortable with rounds and rondelles and shapes that we're used to, aren't we, Rebecca? We are, yeah. So if you had a strand like that, Rebecca, yeah. what, what kind of thing would you do with a rondelle of a gemstone in that shape? Um, put it on one of the slider bracelets that we had. Oh, um, no, that's a great, the one that we just sold out of. Yeah, I would colour grade that and put it as a would, long drop on a Do you like an ombre, you mean? Sort of, sort but you of. can't really ombre with, you can, yeah. you can do red, orange, you could always do a rainbow with that. 
Yeah, you could, couldn't you? So you, you? could do your chakra colours. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I know. That's a great idea. Would you like to see on the neckline to give you an idea of... Um, <laughs> and they've just gone, yay! Yay, why not? We're going on the necrotage. Oh, you see what I mean? Now, this is the great thing about garnet. Remember what everybody says. You need natural daylight for genuine gemstones to perform as they should. None of which I have here in the studio. So just imagine, oh my goodness me, that. And we had a bit of sunshine today. We had a bit of sunshine in the UK today. I don't know if you did where you, where you are. Okay, there are not many left now. Another collector in the Channel Islands there as well. Yeah, um, if you all check out, they're gone. All right, so it is very much a first come, first serve. So I do wish you good luck there, okay? Um, now then, we are 20 minutes away from the bead chain. 20 minutes away, okay? That's it. 20 minutes until the bead chain, and then at 8 o'clock, our today's must-have is the bead pendant stroke charms and the bead connectors, and um, I'm going to wish you good luck on those as well. Uh, right then, so while you just finish off checking off those garnets, checking out rather, which one did you want to do, sir? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's been... He's been ferreting in our vault, haven't you, sir? Now then, he has, he's been ferreting. Now, if you want to put, if you want to put just one of these lovely little rice bead designs in with your sterling silver, Little, um, or just to a hot, you, I mean, if you wanted to be really flamboyant and a bit decadent, you could do an entire bracelet out of them, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's been a bit self-indulgent, but why not? Mm. Why not? Might be worth a treat. I think you're worth a treat. We're all worth a treat, aren't we? These are clearly from the United States of America. These are obviously that really fairy tale esque sleeping beauty tone of turquoise that a lot of us are, are looking to try and own these aren't sleeping beauty but it, they do have that tone it has to be from specific mines in the arizonian area for it to be able to be called sleeping beauty but again it's got all the look hasn't it i don't understand your pricing tonight if you don't mind me saying sir he said, I don't think I do. <laughs> At least he's honest. Turquoise. Now, um, turquoise is... Now, I've just taken a turquoise bracelet um, that I've got. I've got a sterling silver stretchy bracelet with just little snippets of turquoise in it that I took uh, away to Dubrovnik. Because when you sat in a lovely sort of beach restaurant, right on the beach with the beautiful sea lapping, and you, you sat there ordering your lovely salad and your fizz and cocktails and whatever, and your G&T and whatever... The sun, when it hits the sea on a beautiful day, and then it ricochets off the turquoise versus your silver or your rose gold or your yellow gold, it's a really positive, recognisable colour tone. And against the backdrop of the sea, it's just the most perfect choice, I think. Real, real, you know, but again, lovely in the wintertime as well. 34.95 for the whole strand, okay? Now then, we're approach. I know we're still, would you believe, in British summertime, aren't we? No, the clocks haven't gone back. No, yeah. not yet. But it's still classed as British summertime at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Time-wise, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think so sometimes, would you? Uh, but a lot of people are thinking about autumn collections. And autumn, we think, here in the UK, the leaves falling, don't we? So, we have got these... Now these are a lovely sort of contradiction because they're leaves but in these lovely shell designs. And each one is without question easily turn into ball, into ball, <laughs> into ball, easily made into a pendant or drop earrings, aren't they? Because you've got these carved beads. Now let me just, if I just pop one here so you can see. They don't sit flat either. Because a leaf isn't flat on a tree, is it? Oh. So if you can see there, look. Do you see? Look at that. How on earth have they managed to cut and carve a shell into an undulating and carve the actual indentations of the, of the leaf print 
into the shell. I mean, it just, wow. Now, we're telling you as well, which is unusual, because we don't normally tell you how many. We're saying there's going to be 20, so I'm going to check that for you. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, guess what, everybody? We can count. Hey, there is definitely 20 on there. That's a fair point, actually, Paul. He said it's better than our spelling at times. <laughs> yeah. Let's be some good spelling. We, we do have some there. fantastic... Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, we had a kit called Merlot. Spelt with oh, a W. Oh, it's awkward. Oh, that's all right. Mind you, it could be something that doesn't drink, couldn't it? Let, let's be kind to the person that spelt it wrong. Because, <laughs> Merlot. See, now you've, wanted me, you've got me wanting a glass of Merlot and I'm trying to dry out after our girly weekend, Paul. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, so you will get 20 of those. Now, do you know what I like about those as well? Do you see the way, they, the way they've got that lovely little... I like that little section there, Rebecca. Sort of very... Yes. I like that little... Yeah, it's, it's nice, that, because you can just use that to wire wrap. Yeah, that's um, what I mean. It's got a nice and then attachment you've got the rest there, of it there, Or you can you can actually accentuate the veins with with a, yeah. a, a twisted wire. Yeah. That it looks lovely. Yeah, it gives you lots of options, that doesn't it? Mm, Do you it know does. they're less than fifty p each, my lovelies? Just make sure I've got the. Now, I'm just checking out they double sided as well. Yeah, it would appear so. Yep, they are. Somebody's messaged in and apparently said to Ross, are they double sided? Yes, I've just checked. So look, see. Just to prove the point. Because no, because I have to tell you, don't I? Because the thing is, if you, if you want to make those into a pair of earrings, you've got that carving and effect from both sides. Less than 50p each. They're lovely. Well done on that price, Sir Hon. And Ross. He's excited himself on his prices tonight, isn't he? No, well, do you know what it is? I bought in ripples. Did say ripple? And uh, double deckers. Other, cho other chocolates are available. So they're all sitting there looking expectantly at me at the moment, waiting for the chocolate. That's what they're all waiting for. Now then, 15 minutes till the beach, eh? All right? 15 minutes. Okay, what do we, should we do next? You want to sit on the, ch mm hmm now, my guess is on this evening, the lovely Rebecca owns this chain, don't I do. you, darling? No, I do. What did you do with it? I haven't done anything yet. I know what I'm going to do. Which is? Um, hang an amber bee from it. Are you? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's going to hang one. Because we've done amber bees, we've done stunning silver bees. We have finally back in stock. We have got the two-tone matching... Because I'm just showing you as a necklace layer. You don't have to do it as a necklace layer. You can cut that into sections, have them as dangling drop B earrings with a lovely bracelet. Or you could buy two and have cut those two sections there and have drop earrings, uh, have a bracelet, and then have one as one piece as a full necklace. Can't we? Always be oh, I love it when Ross is like that. He's the most relaxed, lovely man. And then just occasionally when I go... Can we do it? No. And I think, ooh, <laughs> Ross, put me right in my place. <laughs> so, uh, 14 minutes away, okay? Uh, in the meantime, uh, again, I'm sorry to keep saying everything's last of stock, but at least we've got a chance. Um, we will bring you this amazing star bite. It comes in the collector's box. They are beautiful whether you choose to work with them and set them to jewellery or not, or just to own them in your collection. I think you're going to love them. So it's a really good opportunity to own a very much collector's Ethiopian opal. Star bite. <laughs> They are, they're just illuminated. They are, they are, they are, oh my. Some of you might have seen, our, our um, gemologist Marie has been out in India last week with Simon, our merchandiser, 
and they show, they unveil the parcel of the most incredible Ethiopian opal we've seen. I don't know whether you all saw that on Facebook and mm. oh my word, it was incredible. And it was still in, a, in, in, in sort of a brightly lit room and still didn't look its best. And this is what I love is when you get your Ethiopian opal home and every Ethiopian opal is as unique as you and I are, and there isn't one, we've all, all of us here own Ethiopian opal because when you're, when you're with it and you experience it and you're with that incredible gemstone, you cannot resist it. There might be some of you at home that still have yet to take the plunge with Ethiopian opal because you haven't seen it for yourselves. This is the great thing about Jewelry Maker. And again, I can't show you the full color of those because I, I, it's too brightly lit in the studio. We do have it in our lighting box where there is only one light source. And when I say these are illuminated, have you ever been to a lovely arboretum in autumn? And there's all those lovely l lights underneath it, Rebecca's underneath, smiling and underneath yeah. the trees. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's all lit in the trees and all the leaves yeah. take on the effect and the bark and yeah. it's illuminated yeah. with those. It's yeah. really magical. It is it magical. Or you go to, yeah. some of us here go to these lovely light shows. I, I worked with Mark Smith, um, uh, not last year, the year before we went to the uh, illuminations at Blenheim Palace for Christmas time, which were beautiful. Or we do it here in Birmingham in the Botanical Gardens. You might have one, you know, it's a festival of light and it's all the fairy lights. And it's all of that, but then infused naturally by Mother Nature as those spherical spheres, like little ping pong balls in a box. So we've got all the colour flooding through it. And the great thing is... Sorry to get overexcited, but I mean, when you've been away from gemstones for a few days, that excitement of being around genuine gemstones all kicks back in again. Okay, there are eight chances. They come in a collector's gift box for you, so you get the gift box. Everyone will be a slightly different size, but c together there'll be five carrots in their entirety. Can I wonder if I put them together whether we can take a bit of light out for you? Mm, they still look good but they'll look amazing when you get them home. And if you don't believe me, you need to. But if you don't, and you're a little bit, mm, not sure, well, we can make you sure because you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you decide to send them back, we don't ask you any questions at all. Okay? Right, Ross, darling ma'am, our new producer, could you please bring the graphics in? We're going to bring them in at the same time for everybody. Everybody pays the final low price. Nobody pays any more than anybody else. These are a limited collection. Now, you know, sometimes when we do our amber collections and we do a limited 100 piece, yeah? We only have eight of the original 53. That's it. We don't have anything like this in the vault. This is it. This is your chance. Okay, Ross Graphics, my lovely boy. Thank you, Zed. P J N nine one for these lovely raw pieces of opal. And the lovely thing is, if you do and you are, and I know a lot of you are, and obviously you're amazing jewelry makers, along with our phenomenally talented guest designers, you have the capability, hopefully, to set these into jewelry. If you're like me and you're not into wire working, you look at those, and I would look at those and think, I'm not too sure. I would just buy those to have them in my collector's unit, in, in my display unit at home, where I keep my most treasured pieces of, of, of genuine gemstones. You have got these really lovely quirky pieces. And if you like, again, if you like, like us here, and you've got opal that you've made into jewelry, and you just want loose pieces for your customers at your trade fairs and craft stores that are really, gosh, they're coming up all over Facebook, aren't they? And mm. social media, aren't they? All the different yeah. ones everywhere now. Yeah. Or see if we've got any um, pre-made silver uh, ring blanks. Yeah. With the prongs Great. on. Yeah, because we more you're of those now. you to find one that will fit, and they're so easy to just yeah. flip the prongs over yeah. on one of those. That would be a really unusual ring. Oops, wouldn't it just... Catch everybody's eye, that would. Yeah, because as yeah. we know, on the, on, the, on the sort of, uh, you know, on the fashion runways, this is the kind of gemstone that people are going for. Now, yeah. Cheryl, thank you for trusting us. Caroli uh, uh, collector in the Channel Islands, thank you for trusting us. Caroline in Essex, collector in Essex, Patricia in the West Midlands. If you all check out, I have, sorry, two on the phone. If you all check out, I've got one left. So, would you, and we're going straight to your price. We're not faffing about. We're going to go to the very best deal that we possibly can. Okay, there are now only three chances left to own five carats of Ethiopian opal. Okay, you've got to be quick now. 
Now, if you think about it there, I've got four. If you look at that recording again, which is where we can show them the best with only one light source, we are talking about, is that £12.49 each? Pretty much £12.49 each. Yeah. <coughs> of Ethiopian opal with every colour imaginable in each one. Now, Louise, you are that close to owning them. That, and I always think if I'm hovering and I've got something like this, which is so unusual in my basket, how am I gonna feel if I choose not to check out when I could have had 30 days to see them and touch them and feel them? Now, collect your Essex, Val, Caroline, who's the other one? Gillian. Is it our Gillian in South Yorkshire? In Somerset. Nice area of the land to live. Well done. Um, goodness me. 49.95. 49.95. Okay, I now have. Is it two? Okay, three in baskets, two on the phones, two left on Ethiopian Opal. Really? Phenomenal. Oh, do me a favour. Do check out your authenticity card. That's the kind of thing you want to keep. If you're keeping it for yourself, I'd buy my authenticity card, 25p, for my memory. Not for my memory, because obviously Ethiopian Opal, but I'd, do, you know what I'd, do you know the reason I'd buy it? Oh, did you get one? Oh, Gillian, you got it on the telephone world and there's one left. Oh, Gillian, congratulations, sweetheart. Well done. Okay, Val... Collector in Essex and Caroline in Essex. That's the last chance that we've got nothing like else quite like that in the book. Got more Ethiopian open, but nothing quite like that. Okay. What? Oh, he f <laughs> oh, and he's Lee, fight the life out of me then. He, yeah, he went, oh, oh. And we were like, oh, what, what, what? Anyway, right, one left. They will sell out. There's no question about it. The authenticity card, what I was saying, the reason... I would buy it is because it will say one of 53 and you know when you like buy like a piece of artwork and you like this you buy pictures like me paintings and things and it says one of how many if it's a print or you get the original that's like getting the original isn't it, it is getting the original um and you get it and it makes you feel different doesn't it make you feel different Paul when you get one of a and you know there's only so many of you've got that print it's amazing feeling. I've got a couple, lucky enough to get a couple of originals. It's so... Marie in Surrey, you're up against the girls there, and a collector in Essex, so I'm, I'm going to let you argue it out between yourselves. Now then, after the break, after the break, we have got, finally back in stock, we have got the two-tone B chain. And the only thing is, I've only got 64, is it? 64. That's a Beatles song, isn't it? When I'm 64, can you believe it's 50 years since the Abbey Road Beatles album? 50 years. I think Marie may have just got that last opal. Marie, I think you may have just snuffled it, my darling. Yeah, snuffled it, you lucky girl. So, the two-tone Bs. And the good news is we do have the matching pendant. We do have finally back in stock. And these have been one of the most popular we've ever had of the Bs. The pendants and connectors are coming up at 8 o'clock. If you want the chain, which I know that my guest is on and Rebecca has got, if you want the chain, I've only got 64. All right? And as you can see, if you want the matching drop pendant, drop earrings, the charm, whatever you want to go with it, isn't it lovely that we've got all the connector, the pendant, stroke charm and chain mm. All within an hour of one another because usually sometimes it's over different shows or different days or even different weekends or different months you can get them all after the break are you new to jewelry maker shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift the free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? 
Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. had a chocolate break didn't we team we did we had a chocolate break very nice too it was nice you know when you go into the uh, local shop it's like four for a pound i like to treat them no expense spared anyway it's so exciting when we get a really lovely treat for you and there is eat on the late show and there is no sting in the tail <laughs> excuse the uh oh, that's yeah it is bad sorry rebecca <laughs> Bees are such a positive. Well, well, put it this way: if we didn't have bees, wouldn't we cease to exist in like three years as humans or something? I think something like that. It's something yeah, ridiculous. They are like that. in danger, yeah. aren't they? If we don't oh, yeah. look after well, we're them. in danger if the bee goes. And um, 
When we think about, I think the reason they go so well in jewellery is because floral designs. Now, when we have our amazing guest designers on the show and you send in your incredible creations on uh, our wall of fame and our DVDs that our guest designers do, a lot of it is nature inspired and a lot of the jewellery is collections of, of floral designs. And if you think about it, the same goes for, for retailers and clothes and fashion, doesn't it? It's always flowers and flower brooches and flower mm. pins and flower fascinators and you know, it's, you know, and I think when you go and have a wedding, there's always a floral buttonhole and there's a floral bouquet. And, you know, it's in so many positive situations in life for us humans, isn't it? So when you get something that's sterling silver and then you can put a B with a floral, fl floral jewellery design. Oh, the two just marry together. And you think about you tuck into your... I mean, I've just bought strawberries into work. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, all these lovely things, you know, uh, well, your, your, your raspberries, your, your, what is it? raspberries, strawberries, all those things that have to be pollinated in order for the bees. You just wouldn't, it, you wouldn't have any of those things. So I just think it's such a positive jewellery prospect. And we haven't had these particular bees. Even Arthur, As Arthur Askey sang about bees, didn't he? I don't know whether I'm going to subject you to the song. Paul's looking at me as if to say, please. I know I normally do, but I'm feeling like I need to give the team a... A, a break. Paul's like, yes, please. Did you request the song, Paul? I've got it printed off. You could come and sing it with me if you want. I prefer the Monty Python one. You prefer the Monty Python one? What was the Monty Python bee song? Eric the Half of Bee. Oh, do you want to come and sing it? I don't know that. Nope. Oh, <laughs> give me, give, <laughs> what's it like? You, you play it for me later. Does anybody else know that? Eric the Half of Bee song. I thought I knew Monty Python, then obviously not. Okay. Anybody else like to sing that to us? Do you know it, Rebecca? No. Eric the Half the Bee song. No. No, it just seems to be you, Paul. Um, anyway, now, there is... I know is... the Arthur Asky one. Yeah. So if you sing oh, it, I'll sing it with... But to be a happy grand of bees, a busy bee. See, she knows it. Buzz, 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 we haven't got enough to go around. Time's going to fly quickly. Hey, Rebecca's getting involved. <laughs> and the price is incredible. So if we set the clock going, Emma, there she goes, that now means that hopefully we all have a fair chance to check out. And what you need to do is you need to be poised. You need to be hovering, fluttering those fingers like a bee would flutter. You need to get ready to either put the code into your into your basket on either the jewelrymaker.com website or onto the Jewelrymaker app. Now we do get told time and time again by everybody that checks out online and on the on the app that the app seems to be quicker. So if you want to make sure you're not going to miss out, we would urge, yeah, Rebecca's going, it is, urge you to download the app if you haven't already done so. Get yourself so registers, quick. get yourself your credit card, your debit card, your PayPal on there. Now, we've got over 200 of the, of the charms, the bees, the pendants, but we only have 64. The clock is about to stop. Okay, the code is, I'll read it out to you so you can get, keep your heads down, E-L-R-F for Freddy, 87. Now then, it's 40 centimetres, 40 centimetres by my understanding is about 16 inch. So by the time you've added on a clasp, a sterling silver clasp, you can extend that or an extended chain. You could easily turn that into a full 18 inch if you wanted to with an extended chain in sterling silver, which we do here at Jewelry Maker. Okay. Now what you get is guaranteed on the chain, one, two, three, four, there's one hiding behind, five bees on there so it's just shy of no what do you mean you thought it was three no you get five darling no ross i don't mean to contradict you darling i he's giving you two free bees even i thought there's only three bees no 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 well either that or they've been getting frisky in the uh, vault mm -hmm. i'm not sure what's gone on but there's definitely three turned into five and they're two tone are you ready the price for four and a half grams of sterling silver with that detailed B design necklace layout, under 20 pounds. It is brilliant, isn't it? 
under 20 pounds. Everybody, all the team is shaking their heads and saying, four and a half grams of sterling silver with five two-tone Bs. That's good, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Now, we just had a collector come in and buy four, so that reduced me to 60, 60 immediately. Yeah, well done. And you don't have to keep them all in one piece. You, you do keep not. The, the three as a bracelet. Yep. And then add more chain on mm -hmm. for the other two to be your... Um, I also... Or two like, bracelets and one three as a necklace. Well, do you know what? I've yeah. just... Because I've just been aware with... It, it's interesting, isn't it, when you go on holiday with girlfriends or, or, or friends or whatever. But I've just been aware of these lovely girls and they're, they're really into their fashion way more than I am. Really into this beautiful fashion. And one of, one of the girls, Sarah... Uh, that designs the Sarah Bennett collection over Gemporia, she just kept wearing long drop earrings every day with either like a, a drop of silver or three-tone, all drop earrings, silk, just one bit of... So I'm thinking if you actually... Excuse me a second. If you turn that, because if you look on here, see if I can show you properly, look, on the end of the chain, there's a, there's a loop ready to attach to a shepherd hook if you wanted to. So if you... Now, bear with me, I'm just going to... Excuse me, Emma. Sorry, darling. So if you then had a full drop chain and cut the chain underneath that B there, if you think about it, you'd have the most beautiful drop chain B earrings, wouldn't mm. you? Now, they would be so sexy, mm. wouldn't that? And very much on trend. Isn't that lovely? So, 19.95, okay, uh, nearly half the stock's gone. This happens every time we have these. Now, when was the last time we had these in, Ross? Can you see? So, we just had them back in about a week ago. Prior to that, it was easily a year. Easily. Easily. So, if you, uh, if you uh, missed out previously last week and, you managed, and you've waited a year for these, we do have, finally, the matching availability on the Charms Stroke Pendant. And the reason I say Charms Stroke Pendant is because we don't know what you want to use it for. We could call it a Charms Stroke Pendant Stroke Earring. So 95 stunning silver. So um, well done, everybody. There's people multiplying, obviously. There's Jill, there's Jeanette, there's Gina, there's Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne, lovely girl. Uh, Angela as well. Loads of you trying to check out. Charlotte, Maria, collectors left, right and centre. Sandra, Netta in Lanarkshire. Let me tell you how to check out in case you don't know. So we have our own jewelrymaker.com website down there. Look. Now, if you're in the States, we do spell jewellery differently. Sorry. Uh, J-E-W-E-L-L-E-R-Y. Now, we're going to say it's the proper way. You'll say your way is the proper way. Who cares? We just spell it different. It doesn't matter, does it? Or the Jewelry Maker app. Now, we're not one of those. And I check this all the time when I download an app. In fact, I did it today. They don't always make it obvious when they're purchasable, do they? They disguise it well, don't they? So, do you know what I mean? So... You have to sort of look and you go to download it and you either don't realise you've got to pay for it or suddenly you go to pay for it in a month's time and they just auto... It's a bit... We don't do that. All of that technology and the fact that you get to watch us live because the, 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 it streams live to the, to the app. You can buy, you can message, you can watch, you can look at today's products. It's a really good interactive tool and it's free. And you can add your credit card. Your preference of your debit card, if you prefer. Some people do like credit card. I love my credit card. Some people don't. Um, and uh, in fact, I've just learned because of going away with these girls. The girls were all uh, Apple Pay and other ways to do it on your phone. And I've just uploaded all my credit cards so that you can pay with your phone. I've never done that before. A bit slow to do it, I know. Um, but we have a few left. I'm very conscious that it's ten past seven. We have kits to get through, copious amounts of wire that are going under 20, lots more tricks. Now, if you ever saw those massive rondelles that, that uh, we launched, right, we have the last five of the MOOCA. Now, I launched those. They sold out like that. In fact, it was the quickest selling of all the gemstones. Five are left to go. Again, a non-checkout. Always happens, doesn't it? So we have those on the show today. But also... The bees, the bee charms, bee pendants, bee earrings, which are however you want to use them, two-tone in sterling silver, and the connectors. You get the connectors or the other parcel. We will do at 8 o'clock. I don't think I'm going to have anywhere near enough to go around, but they are the perfect gift if you're thinking of making charm bracelets. A drop on a stretchy bracelet, a drop earring, a drop pin, whatever you want. We'll do them at 8 o'clock. And for those of you not on London Greenwich Mean Time, 
uh, as 50 minutes away. Um, also, if you don't want to do online, you don't want to do the app, we do have the good old-fashioned UK-based call centre, and we leave the free phone number on the bottom of the screen, 0800 644 655, and it's not a big elongated automated menu, press option one, through to a UK-based call centre, and they're all accredited jewellery professionals, they know what they're talking about. They'll make you purchase, even if it's your first order, really easy. All right, so uh, well done everybody. I can do a live walk, what, any sort of walk you'd like me to do? No, I'll behave. You want the crap? <laughs> I could have done the crap for you as well. Hello, Rebecca Love. Hello. Hello. Oh, 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 not only funny knee, as in a funny elbow. Have you had an accident at work? Oh, there's a, there's a, oh, that, there's you mean you crap point. your knee? Yeah, there's just that point when it's just too much, isn't it? Oh, that'll teach me, won't it? Oh, <laughs> oh that really hurt. I'm all right, Paul. Don't, don't, don't. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, come running to help. <laughs> <laughs> it's the empathy. Yeah. It's, it's, look, look, yeah. look, 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 look. Yeah, what? what? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> right then. Hello, Rebecca, darling. Hello. You have your. You hello. Mm. You have your. Uh, you've been gizmoing. I have. I can see. I gizmo. have. I love my gizmo. You do. We've been having the right little. Chat about the gizmo, yes. they, weren't we? Yeah. She's primed and ready to gizmo. And for those of you thinking, what on earth is gizmo? We will share that with you. Cases, there will be people out there watching tonight thinking, I've got a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. um, now then, you couldn't believe it when I just told you about how much this kit's going I to. I'm quite in shock because I didn't, I didn't realise, I, I, I knew how much wire it came with. I didn't understand that, that it had two of our super length strands of genuine gemstones as well. No, that's right. So that there is a big old reel after reel, after reel after reel after reel after reel of um, the best selling wire that we do, the silver plated yeah. rounded copper wire. You know, yeah. pretty much every gauge, yeah. isn't it? It is every gauge that we do. Well, oh, well, apart from the 1.5 that yeah. we sometimes get in. Well, let's just put it, so we've got 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.25, yeah. and your, bear in mind, that's 100 metres. Um, yeah, 1 mil and 0.25. Blimey. Is that... Is that 150 metres? That's yeah. 150, 150 metres. 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, 1 mil, 1.25, and 0.25 in a 100-metre run. That one there, you are darling? Oh, is there a... Is there a... Is there a... Ah, oh, OK. Ah, Damn, that's on a minute, yeah. Out, then. So 110, 120, 130, 143. Apologies, because the 1.25, because of the stronger gauge, is... So let's just separate that so we keep it simple, right? So, 100 metres of 0.25, 10 metres of 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 3 metres of your very strong 1.25 mil. Okay, so you get all of that, and a lot of gemstones as well. Loads. Yeah. Absolutely loads of them. 300 carats of yellow. Let's put all that so we can get it all in together. And two gemstones that marry together really well, actually. So 300 carats of genuine gemstone in your tiger's eye. Again, a very recognisable gemstone. And we've only got a rutilated gemstone as well. So to marry and give you that autumnal look, golden rutile quartz with yeah. golden caramel tiger's eye. Mm. Isn't that it's lovely? absolutely gorgeous. It is, isn't it? And um, Fallen leaves everywhere. Yeah, fallen leaves, yeah. Now then, I know, I'd be the same now. When I came on it, my producer told me to say to you, the whole kit, both kits tonight are going under £20. And I told Rebecca, and Rebecca went, hey, really? And I think you'll understand why, because you're getting a lot of genuine gemstones there. And... 143 metres of our best selling. We sell a lot of different variations. Oops, today is here. The wire's just fainted. We sell a lot of variations of wire here at Jewelry Maker. A lot of colour tones, a lot of finishes, a lot of gauges. But without question, that is our best selling wire today. It really is. Now then, you just gave me a price on my ear per component. Is 
For the maximum we're going to ask you to part with per component, that means per strand, well, super length strand, and per reel of wire, maximum your pay per item is £2.49. So if you are content, and I cannot imagine why you wouldn't be, at £2.49, that's a smile that tells you Rebecca would be happy to pay that. I would. You would. See, that's a definite you would. <sighs> and the reason there's a bunny rabbit on there, you might be thinking, why on earth has Rebecca put a bunny? Well, because I think today's woodland animals. It is woodland animals. It is woodland animals. Yeah, and I like bunny rabbits. Oh, you like bunny? Who oh, doesn't do like, like a bunny? Bunnies. How can you not like a bunny rabbit? How can you not like a bunny rabbit? All woodland animals and the lovely squirrel that Gemma had on the show this afternoon. Oh, no. I saw that last week when, when I was in. And, oh, did uh, you? Yeah. It was amazing, wasn't oh, it? Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Because she did the wire work and she did the needle yes. felting one as well. Oh, yeah. just brilliant. Um, don't take this the wrong way, producer Ross. I think you need to put your price where your money is. Where your mouth is. Now, the, the thing is, this is what's great about Jewelry Maker. We are giving you a genuine, there she goes, oh my goodness me, he's absolutely gorgeous, Rebecca. What a little fluffy bunny. And the hedgehog, you, seen yeah. the, you haven't seen the hedgehog yet, have you? <laughs> he's with the second kid. Oh. He's like a cross <laughs> between a cockapoo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, a, a, a little cuddly puppy cockapoo, carver poo, and a hedgehog. Yeah, he looks a bit startled with the studio lights, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's so lovely. How long did that um, that rabbit take you, Rebecca? He's gorgeous. The rabbit? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to make tonight. Oh, so. With the gizmo? Yes. Oh, with brilliant. The gizmo. Brilliant. Now then, if you, if you were to add those on another day into your basket, the whole big super length of the, um, of the tiger's eye. In fact, can I just get the measurements of those, sweetheart? The, the, of the... Um, Genuine gemstones, darling. I want to know lengths. 82 to 86 centimetres on each strand. That's a super length strand. So, if you were to add the golden retail quartz, 82 to 86 centimetres, the 82 to 86 centimetres of the tiger's eye, all genuine, and the 143 metres across one, two, three, four, that is six, isn't it? Six different gauges. All of them pretty much, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 mil, 1.25, and 0 0.25. Mm. That's an incredible array of gauges. Great, this is a great starter kit actually, isn't it? For it the is. If, play you, with if wire. you want to have to, to play with wire and find out what, what you can do with each wire, yeah. it's a perfect kit. It is, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. Now then, if anybody was watching earlier, he promised under 20. Can he deliver? Oh, you show off. <laughs> My goodness. He has just halved the price. Now, theoretically, correct me if I'm wrong, if we've halved the price, I should take half the gemstones away and I should take half the reels of wire away. Shouldn't I? Because something's got to give, hasn't it? Yeah. So if, if, you, yeah. if you halve well, the that price... That would be a normal kit. Yeah, absolutely, it? yeah. But an extra special... So you're getting two kits for the price of one, really. Yeah, midweek madness price. You're getting all of that. And the lovely thing is, we are, we are, we are doing that sober. Because <laughs> that's the kind of thing you'd offer to do, wouldn't it? Now this this happened to us last week at the weekend, right? We're all, you know, we got out on the night. We'd had a, we'd had a lovely time. We got overexcited. One of the girls went, I want to go on a boat. So she just no more than hire a boat for the next day for us all. Of course, we wake up the next morning, all of us, slightly, uh, slightly <laughs> sort of... the worst and worst. Well, I'm thinking, I don't already feel like I'm on a boat, but yeah. we particularly need to get on a boat. And we all lay there, we all looked at each other, and we said, do you want to go on this boat? <laughs> it's like, not really, no. <laughs> So then we had to cancel oh, said no. boat. And lose the deposit, because we were, we were overly enthusiastic the night before, and the next day we were all like... No, don't fancy going on the boat. Oh. Just fancy going for lunch. So we had to cancel it. But that's like one of those things where you get overly excited. You offer a great deal, realise we've given far away more than we should have done. And it's enjoy the moment. Mm. Enjoy the over-exuberance 
of our discount. All right. So Karen Elvina. Hello, lovely girl. Is that Elvina? Whose lovely husband, Mike, made me uh, that beautiful um, engraved gin glass? Bit of a theme here, isn't there? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we're talking about There is a bit of a theme. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's because I've been over the I'm not normally like that. Uh, but there is a bit of a theme. Uh, honest. Brenda, Mandy, Lynn, Rihanna, Elvina, good luck. Already checked out. Collected this Lydia to having those sent out to Pennsylvania. And the thing is, as well, bear in mind, we only ask you to part with one post and packaging. Now, if you live Mayland UK, it's £3.95 for all of that wire and all of those gemstones. And bear in mind, if you've already checked out today and you've been watching since 8 o'clock live this morning, chances are you've already paid your PMP. So you may as well just add to your order. It is true. Yeah? So, um... So it works now out at £2.22. £2.22. And I must just say, you have really, yet again, I said this to you last week, you, you, you have really embraced the theme. Oh, and we're you. really grateful because you, you really have. And it just shows just how talented our guest designers are, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> now then, young lady, we asked you, because in the show later, we've got the Gizmo tool, which is one of the most popular tools that we do here at Jewelry Maker. Always uh, popular, always selling out, all the different... And we do variations of the gizmo tool. And it's a great technique to learn. So, um, our lovely Rebecca is going to teach us how to do the rabbit. Yeah. So, should we hand over to you, lovely girl? Okie dokie. Shall I zip it? Right. Well, I'm going to show you the very basics of how to use the gizmo. Quick, okay. Quickly. Yeah. I'll show you a more uh, detailed technique when we come to do... Um, the second kit. Okay. It's going to do a coiled coil Ooh. in that in that one. But this one, it, basically, how to actually gizmo with wire. Okay. Now we do now have in, the tool coming up. So yeah. can I? Uh, sorry, Rebecca. Can mm. I just check what time we're doing the gizmo, darling? Within, as soon as we, yeah. All right. As we go through the demo. Okay, Dyke. When you get to your kit, you get. Oh. You're right. Yeah, I'm just undoing it. Oh, I wonder what you, you get. <laughs> Yeah. Taking a leg off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screwing my leg. I had put it in the corner. Yeah. yeah. You get um, your mandrel holder. This is important. Okay. I have lost more than one of these, oh. and you can't really do it with your mandrel if you haven't got one of these. Oh, you just tie your hands up, don't you? you so do. to speak, you, you do. You know, you can you can manually coil, but it's not worth the effort. It can really you see isn't. that, or would that yeah. help? If I, would that would that help if I just move right. for a sec? Hang on, I'm going the wrong Who's way. It's been burning our desk then. I don't know, somebody has had a torch in there. So, put that on there, tighten it up, make sure it's nice and tight so that it doesn't fall off. Okay? Yeah. Then, in the kit, you'll get, for, I think it's five different size mandrels, and for yep. the bunny rabbit, um, today, I'm using the 0.25 wire and I'm using the second size mandrel. From the small or from the large? Which going up uh, from, the from the small. Got you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's the smallest one. Oh, so you get the second one, which is really tiny. Okay. But it's also very tiny lengthwise. Yes, yeah, so I've got, yeah. You need at least that length. Okay, so you've okay. got the second size up. Yeah. Okay. If you really, really want to go mad, you could go to your local bike shop and get longer bike spokes and cut the end off. And then oh, you've got okay. <laughs> They're the right, the right size. Um, Are you ready for this back now? Yes, please. Yeah, that's go. fine. There yeah, because we're up here now. There you go. Okay. Um, this, this size wire, 0.25, and this second size up mandrel will give you that size bunny. If you want a bigger bunny, either uh, you could use a bigger mandrel, but if yep. you're going to use a bigger mandrel, you then need to step up your size of your wires. So go up to the 0 0.4. 4. Which you've got in the kit. Yeah. That's right. How, and how, if you how, want a giant bunny, go up to the bigger one and go to 0 0.6. Yeah. Quick question. How, how long did that take you to make from start to finish? The bunny? Yeah. Each one of those takes me four minutes, and I use one, two, three, four of them. So that's 16. And then moulding it and moulding the wire, it took me about 40 minutes, if that. So in an hour? Yeah. In an hour? Yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah. Nice for Easter as well, get ahead, isn't it? Hang on, that is actually in the way now. Then, so I've tied my, not tied it, I've just wrapped my 0 0.25 round the stem, yep. round the handle, and then you hold your wire in your non-working hand, 
and hold it, give it a bit of tension and you just wind, 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 wind and you just keep going until you get to the end. Try and keep your weaves as close together as you can. So, so just, keep nudging push, it. just keep nudging it. Yep. Be careful nudging it with 0.25 because you could end up going through that hole in the brace oh, I and see. You, you snap your wire. Yep. So just be careful. If you happen to go backwards a bit, you slip and it goes backwards, just uncoil it. So oh, gross, like it is really fixable. easy. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what then, while Rebecca just that. does a decent length of that, because we obviously we don't, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll take the kit away just for a second, but the kit is at the moment still available. But that gizmo tool that Rebecca's using and teaching you how to use now, we will bring on for you, okay? It is an extremely popular tool, Ooh. but we have 20 available for you for the show tonight. That's it. Great Christmas gift. If you know anybody that loves working with wire, is thinking about working with wire, is it fair to say, there you go, is it fair to say, if you work with wire, chances are at some stage, some stage you're going to want a gizmo. gizmo. Need a gizmo. You're going to need it. Oh, okay. And there yeah. you go. And you can tell, I mean, pra she's practically doing that with her, with her eyes shut. I mean, you can, if you're making a quite complicated piece of wire work and you want to coil around a single wire, yes, do it by hand. But the quick way is to just do a quick gizmo yep. and slot it onto the base yep. wire that you're working yep. on. It makes it so much And this quicker isn't just for these sculptured type bunny rabbits and, and hedgehogs and things. The jewellery no. that you can create with a single, double, triple gizmo and coil right. is beautiful. It's, it's isn't beautiful. It? it gives so much texture to a mm. piece. Yeah, so um, interest. Oh, there were 20, and believe it or not, on the deluxe coiling gizmo, at 8 99 you get the five crank rods, you get that unit there that um, so that you've got, you can create these beautiful coiled uh, wires. You know what, sweetie? I was going to say, if you've got all the, because I've got them here. Look yeah, no, I've got them. Don't, don't let me steal up, yours, darling, because then I'll accidentally, you'll, I'll end up nicking all your crank rods. So I've got about three sets in there. Yeah. Because <laughs> I keep buying them. Because <laughs> she keeps losing them. That's your, your your clamp, so to speak. And as you can see there, look. Oops. I'll show you the clamp. Well, uh, and then there, if you just go up to the holes at the top. Thank yeah. you, lovelies. The, the, the mandrels fit in the different yeah. holes. So you just... You have a bit of entertainment like you were as a kid, finding the right hole for the right crank rod as well. We'd keep the yeah, on cameras entertained for days with that. Don't put it in too tight a one or you won't get it out again. You won't again. get it out again. <laughs> so there's those and then you've got one, two, and the variation, three, four, five. Look at the variation between the sizes. It's yeah, quite dramatic massive. on your mandrels. Look at that. Yeah, that big one with a 0.8 around it yeah. um, looks wonderful when you flatten it. Oh, as a, nice. as, a, as a braid. Oh, for ooh, the also, oh I'd like a talk stroke Amiga yes. style. Oh, nice yes. idea, Rebecca. Yeah, lovely. Eight ninety nine. Okay, they're practically gone. Tracy, you've got to be quick. Yeah. They're pretty much gone, I think. Is oh. there one left for Tracy or not? Go on, because my hands are, my hands wearing out. <laughs> Did you hear, you... I'm not stopping this till they're all sold out. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm not stopping to them. Well, Andrew, good luck, darling. <laughs> Kate and Gwen, Tracy, I haven't got that many left. Okay, so if you want them, well, you can stop, Don. We won't. Oh, we won't it's pretty they've gone. Exactly. So, thank you. What amazes me, when you cut them and take them off, is that it doesn't unravel. I know, it's quite amazing, but yeah. all memory has a, all wire has, has a, a memory. memory. Yeah. So. Well done, everybody. All you need to do then is cut the end off, flush with your mandrel like that just quickly we'll pop the, the kit back on the, the the gizmos have gone i believe haven't they yeah but we'll pop the kit well back on because everybody. the kit is yeah well done the kit so is glad um, you did that and stopped me yeah <laughs> right now sometimes it can be quite hard to get your coil off the mandrel all you need to do oh, is fits, twist yeah. that in opposite directions twist your, your wire in opposite directions and it loosens it enough so you can just slide it straight off there. I'll move those out of the way. Okay. Right, now we've spent all that time, just cut your ends off so they're out of the way, all that time <sighs> winding all that wonderful you're wire. Gonna, you're going to do something to it, aren't you? I'm going to do something to it. She had that evil I'm look in her eye then. You, I'm going to take my longest piece and we're going to make the body of the wire. So I'm just going to nip 
the end in there and I'm going to grab into the end of that one. I'm just catching my nail in it like that. And this is the magic bit. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. Hang on, hang on, everybody. Let me move. Oh. <laughs> now that's one arm span, double arm span, but it will go more. Let's try and stop sliding it a minute. Don't go too far. You still want it to look springy. Okay. But you need it just for the length of it. Okay. Try and make each stretch the same. The same ish. Okay. It's not that important. There. Okay, so now we've got a lovely oh, coil of wire. Okay. Okay, so from our smoothly coiled, we've now stretched it. And now we're going to go. Oh, I don't know if I can watch that. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was I didn't look at where the ends were going or where the middle bit was going. I've just put it all in my hand and giving it a, a roll around. Yep. And making it into. Can I make, can I make an observation ball. as well? Yeah. This would be something lovely for the kids to do it for would. Easter, wouldn't it? Yes. As, it would. You know, or, or just. Do you not think? Just, a quick, just quickly, Janice, yeah. hello darling. The price of the kit is amazing. Totally agree with you, my love. I recommend anyone who works with Y to get yeah, it. Absolutely, Beautiful Janice. price and quality. Do you want a job, Janice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there you go. A fellow wire worker, totally agreeing with you, yeah, Rebecca. That's right. Great, amazing price, amazing quality. Get, and for those of you, like Janice says there, that work with wire, you'll get it anyway. But those of you thinking about trying wire, great starter price. There. £2.22 for a reel of what? £2.22 for 100 metres of, of 0.25 mil. That's bonkers. Anyway. There we go. So now you've got your bunny body. I'm going to bring bunny over here. Come yes, here, please. Bri Tell you what, let me give him a little... He can sit so we can... There we go. Just so we can there, see then. him, Lord. Let's move those out your road. Sit up there. There we go. Right, so there's his body. Now, I have used balls of gizmode wire like this yep. as a pendant. Oh, okay, nice. I'd you do that. it in a thicker gauge and you can stud that with tiny Chorovsky or mm. sea beads. Just put a head pin through and there you've got a lovely pendant. They look really lovely for Christmas for mm -hmm. as snow, decorated snowballs or without yeah, the ears, exactly. he's a snowman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely. great idea. Snowman for the kids. Yeah. Because it's half term, isn't it? Is it yes, it's not coming up. Yeah. Right, so for Winnie, that was his body, so yep. his head's got to be smaller, so we use a half size one. Yep. Okay, again, this is half a length of your rod, of your mandrel. And yep. Stretch it. Oh, she's off again. There we go. And give it another <laughs> roll round, just any old how getting your. Did I nearly get you then? No, it's fine. I know I was, I was fine. Did <laughs> you were quick, it. weren't you? <laughs> yeah. I dodged there you. There we go. Just give it a roll round. And because of the kinks in the in the wire, yep. it just sticks itself together really easily. So there's your head, which of course isn't going to stay on there. Off. But it will do in a minute. Okay. Okay, then we need... Got ears, got his tail, he's got arms, yeah. got feet. So we need a whole one cut in half. Just bend it and just cut it, and you'll only go through one. And so, really, we need a quarter of one. Okay. Like that. While um, Rebecca's doing this, have we got any of these kits left, Tom? Because they're in. I've not got many. Okay, the kits are nearly sold out, my lovely. So I know oh, there's a, I know a lot. Hear. Yeah, do you know what? It's because of the amazing jewellery and these hedgehogs and things and rabbits. But there's a long list well, of you still. I'm just worried that when you get to the end of Rebecca's demonstration, you're going to you know, miss the kit. And that that is incredible. Okay, so we've got two now. Yeah. But again, you stretch. This is quarter width and stretch them so that they're the same length. And these are going to be his arms. So we don't want round arms, we want sausage arms. But do you your initial sausage? sausage arms. Why? Are you hungry? I love sausage. <laughs> I am hungry actually. <laughs> right, so we're going to make these into a um, courgette shape. 
Okay. <laughs> a courgette shape. No, you can say sausage, it's fine. All right, two courgette shapes. Just bend them in half. Now, you have to squidge first in your hands. Sorry. Don't there you no, you can't, don't you? And give them... All right, so we've got... Make sure they're about the same size. Okay. Okay, like that. Then we need is uh, what else has you got? Feet. I've got feet. So half of one again. Open it out. Open it out. Oops. Make sure they're, they're the same length, otherwise you'll have odd shaped feet. Mind you, did you know we all have one foot bigger than the other? We do. Yeah. Why is that? Goodness only knows. Perhaps we lived on a mountain and then we always had to have one foot bigger than the other to get around the mountain. <laughs> Is there some logic there somewhere? Is there? I'm not sure. I'm looking at Paul for some... Paul's looking vacant, as in, but, but, but OK. We'll, we'll go with the, the, the description of Rebecca. OK, so now these need to be flatter. These need to be flatter. Like that. So we'll put them together. Well, while you do yeah. the second one, go on. I'm going to pop these on. The reason being, just quickly, because we've just seen how to do that one, I've got a tiny few of this deal left, and it is, again, it was a previous, I believe, st uh, deal of the day. I've got, anybody get anybody getting the bees, the today's must have in 20 minutes, the bee charm stroke bee pendant, hello. Um, we have got this deal, you get three. Now, I bought these. They are brilliant value for money because you get two 18-inch, all in the same design in a curb chain, which gives you that flat look design. Perfect for today's bees must have in 20 minutes. Um, and one 20-inch. So 20-inch, always handy length to have. If you want, you could also have the 20 and the 18 in the same design and do a double layer look, which looks so stylish. Now, we had a kit under £20 a moment ago, didn't we? The bees will be going under £20. The chains are going under £20, but that's for three. So what, £6.32 each? No, that's not right. £6.65? Bang on, Ross said. £6 and... Si I might not be able to work out the tip in Croatian Kuna, but I can divide that. £6.65 a chain. Two 18-inch and a 20-inch in matching beautiful designs. How many left, on? Okay, we're at less than 10 available. So um, if you are looking for a beautiful chain for a pendant, a lovely any of our daisy pendants, our bee pendants, our amber pendants, any of those kind of pearl pendants, cubic zirconia pendants. Okay, they're nearly gone. Leslie and Five, collection of the Channel Islands. In fact, Leslie, you've got it. Have I got two left, one left, three left? Three left. Three left. Oh dear. About to sell out. Okay, while you get the last couple, should we go back to Rebecca? And right. Right. Rebecca's rubbish. Okay, so we've got your body, your head, two arms, yep. two feet, and two ears. Well, but if he's, there's something missing. What? Is it there? What? Tail. Oh, I haven't done his tail. No. All right. Tail's really easy. Got, got Guess how I do the tail. Bonita. Guess how you do his tail. You pull it open, yeah. squidge it on the ends, and yeah. go. <laughs> I'm just, I'll just yeah, quickly show you tile. because you can't not have the you can't have the bunny rabbit. There we are. There's a little tiny little bunny rabbit. I do yeah. need to just mention as well. Kit is about to sell out. You need to now check out. And also, um, we have got a rose quartz necklace layout strand going under. There. Five pounds. Just right. Saying. So now we're going to use your 0 0.6 out of the kit. Okay. And we're going to make his arms. Mm -hmm. So just measure it over your body. You need a bit that's going to be longer than his arms. Twice. So we'll go about there. On one end, do yourself a little spiral. On the end, just a tiny one. Oh, I bought those tools. This is the mini oh, toolkit. Oh, God, kit. they're gorgeous. It's one of the best toolkits They're the fine tip toolkit, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're the ones Alice and Terry raved about. Yeah. They, I had those on the tools of the tote, sold out in seconds. They're the brilliant. The best, finest. They are. Fine tip tool. Yeah. Set of four. Brilliant. And then that's going to be his hand on the end, so we're just going to... I have asked for those to be that. ordered back in. Good. Yes. Good, because we need. I need mm. another set. I like to have two of everything. So we've done the little 
coil on the end and straightened it so it's perpendicular to your wire. Okay. Good Wednesday word. Isn't it? Yeah. And then we're just going to thread. No. Which bit is going to be the top? That's going to be his hand there. So we're going to go thread this down the middle. Down you go. Trying to come out through a coil just to make it secure. Doesn't matter if you don't though, because you can squidge it onto the body. Okay, and then that will stay there like his arm. And it's going to go all the way through the middle of your rabbit, yeah. out the other side. Put your other arm on, that way around. Like that. This is why it's always best to not to um, cut your wire to the exact length yeah. first, because you need to be able to play around with it mm. and move move the body. Don't want to restrict yourself, around. do you? No. Give it, and we've got so much wire in this kit, you can what, play around 143 with it. 143 metres? That's it. Yeah. So cut off the end, leaving yourself enough to do another little coil at the end mm -hmm. as his other paw. And if I'd had orange seed beads in this, we'd have done a carrot, but we didn't, so. Oh. There we are, and just twist that up, and that will stop that from falling off. There, and then you can bend those to fit around the front of the body, okay? Uh, feet. Feet next, and we need two pieces that are, as long as the body and the head and the ears, mm -hmm and as wide as the feet times two. Right, so as long as the body, the head and the ears, yeah. and as wide as the feet times two. And we need to make sure they're the same. To measure them at the same time. Yeah, so measure those the same size. That was my spare bit left over, so I'll throw that away because I don't want to get mixed. Right, so first of all, we're going to put the feet on. Yep. I'm gonna use my Six step because I want the loop at the end to be the same size. I'm going to see where that is lengthwise. It's about there. I'm going to put a curve in there. Okay. Okay, do the other one the same size. While you do that, everybody is asking my producer for a sneaky peek of the under five pound rose quartz. That's what's coming up in a minute. Oh, yes, oh, oh. under five quid. I'm just going to say it, under a £5 note, you can get that in a minute. It's graduated, it's ready to rock and roll, it's ready to wait, well, say ready to wear. Pop it up, pop it off the strand, add your class, add your spacers, pearl knot, do what you fancy. That could be yours. Do you know what, actually, he's popping it on now. We're not waiting for a minute, we'll be back with Rebecca in a second. Sorry, everybody, I know you're waiting for Rebecca's demo. So, sorry there, Ross. Did you see that? He thought, I'm not waiting. Is it, so can you bear with us one yeah, second? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, because I've got to do two of these, so I'll do this one right. while you're doing that. Thank you. Oh, that's, oh you're going to do the one, then we'll come back I'll and watch back the second and watch one. the second one. Brilliant. Otherwise, he'll fall over, won't he? He will. If he's yeah, on that mountain, bunny. he's got his lobsided feet, he's going to be in big fat trouble. <laughs> so then, we have got these beautiful rose quartz. Um, just a great way. And the thing is, Christmas, I know we're talking about Christmas now, because the adverts are out, it's all in the shops. And actually, when you start buying for friends and family, it's quite a costly time. And the more presents that you can actually make yourself, especially when you're talking about jewellery, with genuine gemstones with Jewellery Maker, you can actually make some phenomenal bespoke handmade pieces of jewellery for a fraction of what somebody would expect to pay on the high street in a, in a department store. And you go and have a look at those jewellery... Um, you know, those jewellery stands in these department stores, you know, your Debenhams, your M&S, your John Lewis, your H&M, all those kind of, all do those jewellery stands, don't they? And generally not genuine gemstones. No, they're not. So more often than not costume type jewellery, which is great. It's great. It's got its place, isn't it? But, but if you they're can, charging gemstone prices. Exactly. So if you can get the real deal and not fake it for a lesser price, you would, wouldn't you? I'm thinking. Definitely. Yeah. And that rose quartz necklace, beautiful rose quartz, for a fiver. Now the good news is, starting with 55. 
But because Debbie's had two, and the Collector's had six, and Beverly's had two, and Melissa's had two, and Rhonda's had two, and Angela's had two, and Collector and Colby's had two, and Joe Matty's had three, and Carol's had two, and everybody else has had one, I have now less than 20 available. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? Because a lot of us do a, um, do a secret Santa, don't we? Yeah, they do. Yes, yeah, it's a really good idea for a yeah. secret Santa. Nobody I, would expect something as beautiful as that, no. would they? And like, my, uh, some girlfriends and I, it's about, a, about 10 or 12 of us go out every Christmas, and we do a, a you buy one present for, for, for the girls, and you all put it into a sack, and everybody gets a different present. And you're not allowed to spend more than £20. Yes. And every yeah. time I do a jewellery piece, everybody sort of says to me, you spent more than And we have this upset every year, because I'm like, no, I haven't. <laughs> Can you imagine if I then threw four gifts into the parcel and went, they went, well, you didn't make that for a fiver? Well, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. Anyway, four ninety five. Okay, they're about to sell out. So Andrew, Julianne, Dawn, Chris, Alison, Yvonne, Patricia, ten left. And that's without the people on the phones. Okay, sorry, eight left. Eight left, four on the phones. If you all check out, I've got about three or four left. So well done, everybody. We need to go back to Rebecca just for the sense of time because we want to we want to finish this off. Well done. This is a great demo, by the way. Thank Sorry you. to interrupt. Sorry. Right, so I've done one. I'll show you how we do it. You take. We've done that bend. Yes. This is going to be his foot. That's going to be the front of his foot. So we need to take the long length from the toe along the side of the foot through your through as many loops as you can get it through. Don't worry if you can't, though, because it'll just get hidden in the rest of it towards the heel. Like that. Take it all the way down to the loop that we did and then thread the other side through there. Like that. And then squidge that around your foot. And then bend the leg. This is going to would be the leg if you had legs, and just bring the short tail over, and if you've got enough room, just wrap it round the leg, like that. Quick wrap loop over there. Okay, so now we've got his legs. Yay! Right, now I've got to make sure he's the right way up now. What's that? He could be doing a headstone. That's his tail. That's really, and, uh, oh, that's his arm. That's it. <laughs> right, so we're going to go up. This... I'm not going to yeah, say anything. Don't watch this bit. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to comment. <laughs> we're going to go up through the base. <laughs> Good word. <laughs> up through the base. Trying to get it in the middle there. Mm-hmm with one foot and make sure they're facing the front. They will move around, yep. but you can position them afterwards yep. and then put the other one up mm -hmm. and come back up in the same place as the other one. Okay. Up you come. Oh, there's one facing front and one facing back. But like I said, it's very easy just to position them. There you go. Just turn them round there. Okay. Yep. Then we put his head on. Now, I'm just going to give him a bit of a, a squeeze on one side, just to give him a nose. And we're going to put up through the bottom of his head to the top. Up the top, come on, come through. Oh, that's magically happened. Wasn't expecting that to happen like that, but I wanted it like that. Because his ears have splayed out now. Mm hmm Okay. And then... We need to put his ears on, which can be a bit tricky, but we'll persevere. Go up all the way through one side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Till it's there. Bend it over and go down. Don't worry if it all comes apart because you can squidge it back together again. And then all the way back down through his body. Okay. Just keep going. Once you get to that bit, it might be advisable to use your tool to push it down. There we go. And then you can squidge all that wire back in place again. Okay. And there's one ear, and the mm -hmm. wires come out the bottom. Put the other ear on. Mm -hmm. Up one side. Out of the top. Mm -hmm. Bend it over. 
quick mention, side. kit is about to sell out. There so if you go. want that under £20 kit for 143 metres of silver plated rounded wire in six different gauges, plus the two super length 82 to 86 centimetre strands of gemstones, i.e. the golden rutile quartz and the tiger's <laughs> eye, for £17.80, which is £2.20 to a component, you need to check it out. It's a half price kit. Okay, so we're going back down into the body again. Yeah. He's come out the bottom. Has it come out the bottom? Yes, it has. So I'm just going to give that a pull there. Squidge that there. And then because you've got a wire base, you can angle the wire. But it looks like he's got a wonky ear. Hang on. Straighten that a bit, and then angle you'd have more time to do this. Yeah, home, that's right. You, you can, you can make car, each you? one have their own little character, individual character. Yeah, absolutely. There we are. And then the bits that are coming out the back is what you put his tail on. There we go. Because mm -hmm. once you've got the technique, you could do so many different animals, oh, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Whoops. Just give that a a swirl hold it in place and then there's your bunny and I used um, see uh, 11 OCBs just with a point, bit of 0.25 just to thread on his eyes and his nose. Aww. And that is brilliant. Bunny. That is really lovely. His ears come off. Really oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, can I just just give a nudge? Can I have a little look? Ross love sorry. Right, I'm just going to remind Brenda, Mandy, Lynn, Rihanna, Collector in Kent, Collector in Oxfordshire, jo um, Joanie, 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 um, Karen from Dartmoor in, in Devon, Geraldine. I've got two people that look as though they've never ordered with us before. And sh so if you do want that kit, which is half the price it should be, remember as well, one post and packaging all day long, Mainland UK, 3.95. And if you've never ordered with us before, and that kit is your first order, you'll get three extra things free of charge. You'll get two extra genuine gemstone strands free of charge, and a Get Started DVD from our guest designer Claire McDonald. And you'll get all of that kit as well. So £17.80, we are now in single figures on that kit. All right? Single figures. Big, big kit. Now, the good news is in the second... Um, kit in nine o'clock same sort of amount of wire and again the kit's going under 20 pounds a yeah, different color thank you for that demo that's all right that was brilliant that was it's brilliant so cute and you can he give is them, cute you can give them such carrots you so. can you can yeah now then i'm just going to show this as well only because i think <coughs> has the rose quartz gone oh Pink and purple goes so well, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah? Let me move that board out of the way for you. Thank you. Back over there. So if you fancy, now the rose quartz is sold out. The amethyst is an amazing price. Okay? Because you've got really delicious. I don't know why. I think there's a mistake there saying multicolor amethyst. That's just amethyst. Yeah, it's amethyst. It's, it's amethyst. It's, yeah. anything. it's no, amethyst. It's, yeah. So I apologise that we've said multicolour. Um, it isn't. It's it's beautiful amethyst, in these lovely barrel design shape. I mean, they are. If you've got that um, slider brace that we we had earlier, mm. and I tell you what, doesn't that? Now we've got I've got round stretches on there. Isn't it nice to see a different shape mm. in a bracelet like that? Yeah. Been very popular, this strand. Great deal on those Brazilian amethyst. And it's going under. Oh, you... You're a... Oh. <laughs> he, he misleads me. Yeah. He said under 10. I mean, he's right. So he hasn't technically misled me. But you're thinking 995. I was thinking 995. You shouldn't assume, so Jim. No, that? no, that's right. You know what happens when you assume? Show yourself up. <laughs> Five ninety-five there on those. I rather like them just embracing the base of the neckline. Mm. Isn't they rather sexy? You said sexy, Rebecca. Oh, you did. I did. I said the sexy word. 
said the sexy word. You know. I think when we're being sexy Sorry, is the point. I said it on Saturday, totally by accident. Did you? But yeah, because I was trying to say sex tuplet, but I couldn't get out the tuplet bit. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. okay. Right. Now then, they are... I think... Oh, these are cute. Oh. You could have, you could have these as, as spaces in the other rose quartz, couldn't you? Now, the other rose quartz necklace is under five quid. Fancy, fancy matching that, Ross? So if you would like rose quartz, now you could have that beautiful necklace layout design, couldn't you? You could add these as spaces, or you could have these as a little channel set pendant or matching bracelet if you wanted to, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah? Or just use those as lovely little spaces through the actual rose quartz. Brazilian rose quartz, very pretty. And guaranteed under five as we go to the break. Now, remember, the bees are imminent. We're about to have a swarm. Did you have a swarm of bees? Yeah. I love bees. Have you ever seen a swarm of bees? Yes. Oh, spooky. I'd like, I'd like to keep bees. I would. My garden's not big enough. Uh, I've got a big enough bees. garden. I don't think the neighbours would like it, though. We had a swarm Did actually you? land in one of our trees once. Did and you? it was really eerie because when they're moving really yeah yeah but once they were there it was deathly quiet all the birds shut up did they yeah the cat ran away i bet the cat ran away i'd run um, away <laughs> yeah it was very mm. spooky yeah it is um but they're, they're beautiful aren't they yeah. and we've got them in sterling silver okay now then um we've waited um and when when um, when Ross greeted me today, and it's our first real proper show of the, uh, the Late Show together, we were really excited, weren't we? And he said, I said, which bees is it? And he went, it's the bees. I went, you mean the bees that like sold out like that? He went, yeah. And I went, have we got the connectors and the pendant charms? He went, yeah. I went, oh, <laughs> yes. So happy for you. You're going to love them. And I think it's one of those gifts that if you give it as a gift, uh, as earrings or necklace or charms or whatever, I don't think you can fail but for the for the recipient to be super happy with them. I really do. They'll make you smile. So then, I wish you good luck. You've all got the same chance. Join us after the break for um, this unbelievable Today's Must Have. question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. 
The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Isn't it lovely to have these beautiful treats for you live on The Late Show? Oh, it is. Um, bees. Oh, bees. We love bees in jewellery. We love bees with flowers. We love bees. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Any jokes, bee jokes you've got, feel free to send them in. It's really not a problem. Now, what isn't a joke is the quality of these. We're going to start with the pendants, aren't we, darling? Now then, what I mean by a pendant, it doesn't have to be a pendant. It just means there's one loop to connect with, which can go onto our sterling silver shepherd hooks, which can go onto our sterling silver earring findings of any design, even the hoops or the studs or the kidney design, whatever you want. Or it can be the perfect charm. I'll show you all around the bee first, if I may, um, because it's the, obviously a bee is stripey. So to give you that, that look, they're, they're quite stylized these, but they've got the two tones, you've got the silver and the yellow gold plate. Now, I'm going to show you the reverse, which is a bit weird, but I want to show you that on the, on the bottom of the wing, of one of the wings, is a 925 stamp. So again, if you're selling, if you're gifting, and that person you're gifting or selling to says, are they sterling silver? And you go, yeah. And they go, well, how do I know? You just turn them over, and you draw their attention to the fact that they've been marked very clearly on the reverse of the B, 925, which is the standard... 925, which is 925 parts in a thousand of sterling silver. The rest is made up of different types of metals, i.e. copper, hence why eventually it will tarnish. But if you keep it in, in a sterling silver anti-tarnishing bag with the anti-tarnishing square, it'll take longer. Now, I'm just going to mention, I'm, we've been given over 200. I know, which is great. 
but they're such popular gifts. I'll show you the front. The price for a sterling silver charm, sterling silver pendant, sterling silver two-tone earring is phenomenal. Okay, so it's got a beautiful bulbous body. I love the obvious symmetry and yet the two different sizes of the wings. You know, and that familiar sound of the buzzing bee is so comforting. There are so many. I mean, we give you different designs of bees here. Do you know how many bees there are just in the British Isles? Hundreds of different types of bees. No, hundreds. Of different types. Hundreds of different types of bees just in the, in the, um, I mean, what did you just say, Paul? In the tens. No, yeah, no species. Hundreds. Just on the, in the British Isles. So, now then, can I just ask you? When you've gone to one of those charm shops to buy a charm, most of us have got a charm bracelet. Most of us. Yeah, and we're all got Emma. Have you got a charm bracelet, Rebecca? I have. Yep. Emma, you got one? Yes. More than one. I've got more than one as well. Yeah, and me. At least you've gone to make a drink. Um, but yeah, we've all got charm. You probably have got one. You know somebody who's got one. It's a lovely... So if you know anybody, think about anybody that loves... I love gardening. Love gardening. Um, Mark Smith loves gardening. So if you know anybody that loves gardening... Loves flowers. It's pretty much going to think of everybody you know is going to like some form of gardening or flowers, I would think. Um, a bee charm. You know, if you like fresh fruit for breakfast, you're going to like bees. You've got to, otherwise you wouldn't have your fresh fruit. Think about when you've seen these charm shops, right? Or if you've gone on to any of these, you know, anything like, um, you know, think about um, not on the high street. Those kind of gifts where you're looking for something different or, uh, uh, you know, one of those jewellers that you see on the high street, your H. Samuel, your Ernst Jones, your Beaver Brooks, that kind of shop, or your charm shops like your Pandora or your um, Thomas Sabo. Thomas Sabo especially because you'd clip on her with a little trigger clasp, you'd clip on one of these bees. For that kind of a bee, how, uh, in fact, have we found, can we search for a sterling silver bee charm? Yeah? Give me an idea. You can do your own research. I don't normally like to do this for you because I think it's more powerful when you do your own research because I could tell you anything, couldn't I? I'd be honest, but first one that came up, £30. I think that's about average. I think that's about right, £30. That's for a stunning silver pendant. Okay. You found one of John Lewis? Yeah. £135 B pendant. £65? £31.75. So the cheapest we've found is £30. £65. Okay, so let's go for, let's go really conservative. Cheapest we've found in that few seconds where we just look £30. Okay. That's why you, excuse the pun, are not going to believe these. I know it's sorry, Emma, but it's true. There will be no sting in the tail. They will fly out the door, oh, no. and uh, honey, oh. you're going to want these. Oh, that's a new one. I've not used that one before, Emma. I'm quite proud of that one. So, um, actually, what I should have said is, so, uh, honey, Ross. Yeah? A man. Uh, oh, what were you going to say? Did you have a funny one? Did you have a funny we could say honey comb, honey comb, honey comb, no, yes, oh, anyway, I'm exhausting myself, <laughs> now. now then, bees, you were you winging it, oh, hey, oh, like it, we haven't any bee jokes in, because that, because this, we know how good you are at this, now then, I'll tell you what we'll do, Shall we set the clock going so you've got, all got the same chance to buy them? Because everybody's sitting there now going, saying, Zena. Now, the cheapest we found online is £30. Bobby said, oh, Zena, behave. <laughs> like it. Okay, yes, please. Okay, 60 seconds. The clock is now started. Now, we've just talked about, yeah, we've just talked about £30 for a reasonable priced and that's, but that's being conservative. We had anything up to a sort of £135 there, didn't we? Um, but a lot of the time you're paying for the brand name. It's all the same sterling silver. Now, each one of these has got a phenomenal sterling silver gram weight. You've got the two-tone. And as, I, as I'm showing you there, 
the perfect charm size on a bracelet, on drop earrings, on a pendant. Now we had sterling silver chains earlier for a great price, didn't we? £6.65 each, they've sold out. But we will have another sterling silver weekend coming up in the next couple of months. Don't worry about that. So then you need to start thinking about getting ready. Poise with that Jewelry Maker app, the jewelrymaker.com website. And um, also, obviously, you can call the call centre. Right, they're going live in three, two, one. Remember when this price comes in, it's going to be pretty much half the price of the cheapest B that we found in sterling silver online elsewhere. But you'll get three for the price not one not two so it's a pair of earrings and a pendant i cut a high k rf 18 on these do you know what ross i think you're gonna have to put the price in mate i really do so we found, yeah, the reason Rebecca's laughing, our guest designer, is because she's just been told the price. Oh, dear me. So the lowest price we found, £30. Not identical, I grant you, but £30, and we feel ours are better. Just going to put it out there. Are you ready, then? Okay, IKRF18. Each one of those, if I'm not mistaken, is one and a half grams of sterling silver, which in a lot of shops is pretty much the weight of a whole 16 inch sterling silver chain. 1.5 grams of sterling silver in each B. Now, when I said we had 240 odd, bear in mind there is Sandra, collector, having three each. There's a collector just had five. There's a lot of you, I would say 80% of you, buying two. I'll show you as an earring. In fact, no, before I show you as an earring, Ross, Ross, stop making everybody hover in their baskets. <laughs> You're my wing woman, Emma. Oh, come on, I'm trying. I'm trying. Very I'm very trying. trying. My mother used to say the same thing. <laughs> yes, my mother said I was very trying. Okay, everybody, we've taken them to four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety. I'm going to show you an earring. I'm going to show you a pendant. I've shown you as a charm. See, quite substantial, actually, aren't they? Yeah, they they're, they're weighty. They are. They're going to hang beautifully as earrings. They really are. I'll show you a bit. Hello, Tony, love. Hello, Tony. Right, there you go. There's Tony message, does she? Oh, I have these and they're one of my <coughs> best sellers. Yeah, because Tony now does her own craft store. Oh, yeah, Tony now makes her own jewellery and sells her own jewellery. There you go. There's somebody that runs their own craft store regularly and saying, one of my best sellers. There you go. One of her best sellers. Now, so another message coming in from, hello, Jamie. Why did the bees go on strike? Oh, it's a joke. Because they wanted more honey and shorter working flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's attractive. Snort. Um, like it. <laughs> I like it. We've got a bee joke, Emma. Why do bees hum? Why do bees hum? I know that word. Because they don't, don't know, know the, the words. Because they don't know the words. <laughs> oh, I like, yeah, take like about a lot. There you go. It's a good one. Oh, it's quite good one, actually. Yeah, no, did we ask for the dance? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. No, I quite like the dance. Now then, bees. Bees, beautiful bees. But, I mean, are you like me? Have you planted a border in your garden? I've actually planted three. And they're all bee and butterfly specific flowering plants. Yeah, to encourage I've got a them. wildlife area. Yeah. It's yeah. important, isn't it? Just wild wildflowers. Yeah, really important to our planet. Let the but the buddlier go. And, exactly. Uh, yeah. Really, really important. Fourteen ninety five. Now then I did start off with on the bees, I did start off with two hundred and forty two. But um a hundred have gone. Well, just over 100. In fact, I think about half the stock's gone. And the lovely things about bees is they're endearing. So if you incorporate bees into, into de designs. Now, I don't know whether you remember, we, we've done recently some lovely daisy designs in sterling silver in two-tone as well. 
So if you've got any of the daisy designs that we did previously on our Stunning Silver Weekend, mm. it goes really well together. Put them together. Yeah, they yeah. do. If you love making floral designs, also as you said, apparently, can you show it as a charm again? Of course I can. Of course I can. It's your show. There you go. Ross, I'll do it again for you. Oh, bless. <laughs> Here you go. Ross, can you show us an earring? I don't think. Don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, darling. He said, can you show us an earring? Who are you thinking of buying those for then, Tom, uh, Ross? Have you bought anything like this for your mum yet, Ross? You bought her the Cladder Opal ring, did oh. you? Oh, look at him. Oh, I bought it for a birthday. Oh, no. She dropped it down the sink. Did she lose it? Did she get it back? You bought her another one? Oh. Mm. oh, no. She tried to catch it in the drain <laughs> outside. Oh, dear. Um, oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay. In the world, bit of trivia, how many bumblebee species are there, roughly, across the world? There's a question for you. <laughs> Good guess, Paul, but no. I heard the other day about the solitary bee. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't live in a hive. He makes his own little nest. Oh, no. And occasionally will find a queen. Oh, and she'll go off and make her nest oh. and lay the eggs. But solitary bees live on their own. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? But Poor they do the same work day. as, as I'm other bees. I'm a solitary bees. bee then. But yeah, me too. And you? Oh, we know how he feels, don't we? Yeah. Poor bloke. Yeah. Fourteen <laughs> ninety-five. Right. How many how many types of bees are there in the world? Yeah, I do know it. <laughs> Two hundred and seventy-five. 275. So when I said hundreds earlier, sorry, that's not in the UK. In the UK, there's about 25 species of bee. Yes, I did, I did feed you with the slightly incorrect information, and I do apologise. Now then, are we... Oh, do you want to see his appendant? I'll do it again. Can I see his appendant? Because I see his earring. <laughs> there you go. Lucy's just come back in. Can I see his earring? No. So 95 sterling silver. Have you... Have we zoomed into the little bee body bit? The bee body bit with the lovely two. Can you see the actual? Because I don't. Because it's there. You go. Because there's so much luster on this bee. So there you go. Look. So you have got gold plating in the stripe of the. Whoops, a daisy of the bee. We made a. He made a bee line for me then. Oh come on, that's my best one. Oh come on, I want to even applaud myself there. You made a beeline. Come on. You weren't ready for that one, were you? I'm impressed myself then. <laughs> These are my best gags, kids. Come on. The chance. Now, if, I'll only say, will you just come and speak on camera? Will you just come on and say it, Ross? So people don't think I'm taking the mickey out of you because he's the most adorable man. He gets jams. <laughs> Just, it tickles us like he must be good. Do you get frustrated with us? You don't mind? Because poor, honestly, every time he says, Cham, so stand by, we're all like, ooh, so cute. Oh, it's lovely. It is lovely. He's lovely. He's lovely. He's a lovely boy. So then, 925 stunning silver with the gold plate stripe and that beautiful bulbous design of the body. Yeah? So, okay, can I just ascertain, darling, how many we have left? How much is that in figures? <laughs> well, he gives me percentages in the little brain. I've only just come back off my holiday. I'm quite finished unpacking my suitcase. Give us a break. Oh, you know, you, you stood soaking wet in the shower and you realise your body wash and your shampoo's still in your case. Yeah. All that moment. How long since I got back? Yeah, but I had hanging baskets to do. I might need you to do the hanging baskets before the rain kicked in. <laughs> Far more important than unpacking the case. You got sorry? Far more important than Far unpacking. Far more important. You get your cyclamen in your hanging baskets and unpack your yeah. shampoo and body wash. I felt. <laughs> anyway. Right then. So, 
That could be earring drops, pendant, charms, anklets, whatever you want. Key ring charms, book charms, you name it. Um, we are going to give you the connectors. So the connectors, if you've got the slider bracelets, connectors as a drop. Um, you know, they're just love. They're little, you know, that is, oh, you know, the chain. Is there any of the chain we had earlier? The B chain, yeah. Because what I'm thinking is, see these designs, let me put those, now there are some of the pendant stroke charm bees left. You're going to get a pack of five of these ones. They're a little bit smaller, but they've got a loop at each end, which I will show you. But imagine, so because if you think, in fact, is it pretty much what we've got in the chain? Let's have a look. Just to see if they're kind of similar. Let's have a little look for you. Here we go. Pretty, I think, pretty much identical, aren't they, Rebecca? I think they are. They are. They are, aren't they? So, the the wings are slightly then. longer, I yep. think, but they're, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, I yeah. think they're pretty, if I could just get yeah. that. The loop on the bottom is, is deceiving. The actual yeah. size of the body is the same pretty size. Pretty much there, isn't it? So if you wanted to connect more of the chain together with those connectors, they're going to blend in beautifully, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Now that chain we did earlier for 19.95, and the code was E L R F eight seven. Yeah. Okay. So the connectors. Or a little flower charm hanging from mm -hmm. the bottom, so it looks like he's flying away from the flower. Yeah. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? But again, these could be because we. <laughs> these could be. <laughs> <laughs> She's off again. Um, yeah, these could be, again, anything we've mentioned before, a charm, a connector, an earring drop, drop a uh, connector between two items, a charm. There's so much options for these. Again, if I could just turn one round again so you can see, bear with me, excuse me a second, just to prove again, each one of the bees, each one of the connectors, each one of the pendants, earrings, charms, whatever you want to call them, are all clearly 925 stamped for you, that isn't another process that you've got to do. Okay, that price there. How much is that each? Please. For five. Two. That can't be right. No. I don't believe it. <laughs> Two pounds what? 59. For sterling silver and gold plate in that two times. Two pounds 59. Mm. Each B. Tick, tick. I'm going to say it again. It's, it's like, you know, when you keep saying something because you don't believe it. And you're willing it to be true. Tony said, I put these with lemon amber nuggets and they look lovely. Oh, how lovely. Hang on. You've had the lot. Sold out. They were the most popular last time because I didn't get any last oh, time. Oh, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I got the others, but I didn't. I hate to tell you, you're not going to get them this time. No, then. I know. Oh. That's something I don't have to do in the car park, then, isn't it? What else were you going to do in the car park? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what I do at the oh, end of the do show. You? Is that what you're randomly doing when we see you sitting in the car? Yeah, so I'm on the app. Oh, buying, buying things are you? That I've missed we did wonder what you got up to in that car park, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, dear. Apart from walking the dog, yeah, yeah, before we go home. Yeah. Oh, the dog's in. What's your dog called again? Joey. Oh, Joey. He's Every time I go, we go out, they, when we go out to the corridor, normally I'm going to the toilet, and Emma said, I'll take your microphone out. I said, no, I'm just going to, just going to stretch the dog. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a dog, oh, I've got a puppy this weekend. It's good, coming in. I've got to because my friend's picking it up. I'm puppy sitting this weekend for a 16 week old carver poo called Alfie. Oh. I might see if I can bring him on here. Little cock cockapoo. Oh. Cockapoo, they're bigger than a carver poo. Scott had one. Scott and Laura had one. Uh, anyway, yeah, got a little cockapoo and he's, got, he's I'll, I'll bring you on telly, I'll bring you on screen. I've got a picture of him, I can show you him. But you can meet him in person at the weekend. I'll be allowed to bring him on, won't I? Yeah, because Brutus was on this morning. Maeve's been on. 
The resident Chrissy is like the star dog of jewellery maker. Yeah, I'll bring her on at the weekend. Bring him on, Alfie. He's never been on telly before. He might be a bit scared, but you know. Anyway, right, how many of the bees have we got left, darling, in the Charles pendants? Okay, 15 left, my darlings. Okay, 15. We said they'd fly out the door. We did start with a reasonable number for you. Um, and I think the honey, um, the honey amber is a great idea. That honey lemon tone amber, because it's going to go with the gold plating on the body. But also... Actually, um, make it stand out, won't it? That's what I, yeah, that's a great idea yeah, of Tony's. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Now, does anybody want, love watching our lovely guesses on a fleur? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Guilty as charged. When I had the Grandidiorite launch uh, with my producer, Wayne, of the oval cabochons, they sold out. First one to go, like that. Fleur bought the Grand Didierite oval cabochons, went straight home and set them into most, you've probably seen her wearing it on air, stunning silver design. Oh, amazing. They definitely sold out on the day I was there. They are, there are three that we have available. Three of the rarest gemstone. I don't care what gemstone you want to throw at me, rare wise. Nothing has ever beaten Grand Didierite here on Jewelry Maker. Nothing. And we have three chances. We'll do one more treat, all right? One more treat. Uh, there's a tiny few of the B chain left. Ah, oh, now that again, I keep banging on about all these things that sold out in seconds, but this did as well. We had, we had, the biggest rondelles. Okay, let me show you a normal rondelle. Stunning, rare selection of colour change. Purple, specitite, mandarin, savorite, garnets. In that strand for under £30. There might be one left. Don't know. Check on the app and check on the jewelrymaker.com website. We had these on earlier. Shall I give you the comparison of the largest rondelles we've ever done? You might want to just... Ready? Are you ready for this? Go on. <laughs> I mean, never the twain shall me say. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've had my wheat a mix. <laughs> yeah, I'll do whatever you want. Or my shredded wheat or whatever it is that builds you up, buttercup. Mookite. You've got to be quick. You get the three. They aren't just the biggest rondelles ever. They are absolutely knockout quality. And as you can see from the recording, every single one will be different. Every single one. Now, the reason we took that one off the strand is to show you a big old cheeky rondelle like that at 20 by 30 minutes. It's going to have a heck of a drill hole, isn't it? So, you know, I mean, in that kit earlier, that incredible kit that we had earlier, we had um, a reel of uh, 1.25 mil. Easily go through there. Easily. And you only need one on the neckline. They are super. In fact, I'll tell you, that uh, design that Rebecca, I guess, is on did in the show tonight, we, and she said it'd make lovely pendants when you do that uh, gizmo coil. Yeah. And then you stretch it out into a ball. Wouldn't that go lovely as spaces in between it there? It would. Wouldn't yeah. it just? Yeah. yeah. Do you like those, Rebecca? Yeah, I love them. I, I, I love Mookite anyway. Yeah, you but and me. I've not seen one like the creamy one on the end. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? What a lovely... That's very unusual. Isn't it, though? It's got a slight purple tinge to it. Can it? you also believe that price, Rebecca? I know. Can you believe that price? <clears throat> that means each one of those amazing pieces. Bearing in mind, they're the same size, so... <laughs> the same size as a cabochon. No, and I... think how much you pay. You well, you pay yeah. more than that for a, a mookite cabochon for one. Well, I'm thinking ninety three carats each. Oh. That is, isn't it, roughly? That's incredible, isn't it? Mm. That's roughly nine. Am I right there? I have worked that out right, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ross. Have you got your hands on a sneaky calculator in there? Mm -hmm. Ninety three carats each. I don't know why I raise my eyes and get a go on a calculator. Do you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, well done, my darlings. Well done. Now then. Okay. Pendant, pendant stroke charm bumblebee about to sell out, as we knew they would, but well done. T the connectors are gone. Chain is about to go as well. Uh, oh, you have to tell us what people think, because it's a little stocking filler, isn't it? At that price. little stocking filler. Um, this isn't a stocking filler. This is the big present. <coughs> oh, watch 
watching you. Um, okay, we've got three chances across the whole of our vault. You will be forgiven if you've never heard of this gemstone because very few people have ever heard of it, seen it, touched it, been even in the vicinity of it, including the majority of jewellers. Okay, that's how rare it is. And we are talking about not just rare, but utterly beautiful tone. If you love, in my opinion, if you love the likes of a really good quality Amazonite, you are going to fall in love with Grandid Urite. Grandid Urite is considered to be one of the most rarest, should be most expensive, and usually is gemstones on this planet. Incredibly rare greenish blue. First discovered in the early 1900s in Madagascar. And we have got this exceptionally rare tone. Now let me give you an idea what we mean by rare. On the Forbes listing of the top 10 most rare expensive gemstones, it comes in at number three behind red diamond and taffetite, which is another extremely rare gemstone that again, you may not have, not have heard of. You may well have done. Do you know how much this can command a grand didierite, how much a grand didierite stone can command per carat, and each one of those is way over a carat, can, can, can command, I have to say in dollar rate, because gemstones, gold, silver, rhodium is bought in, in, in a dollar rate. How much do you reckon per carat? A thousand? Way more. You're not far off. $20,000 per carat this can command in the industry. $20,000 per carat. It's a fascinating gem. You just talk to Fleur Hastings or message her when she's on the show next and ask her to see if you can see her, um, her beauty. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, ask her to see her beautiful sterling silver set. Incredible, incredible. What I would say is because of its extreme rarity and value, please, and I cannot, in fact, I'm going to say if there's one gemstone on this planet that I urge you to confirm and be able to prove its identity, it's this one. 25p authenticity card is an absolute must on these. Okay? Now already, I obviously have collectors trying to get hold of these. I spoke and holidayed with a lovely uh, gent called Alex that works over on Gem Collector at Gemporia. Um, obviously, other blue gemstone sites are available. When I told him that we'd got hold of a parcel of Grandidierite, and I, that's not the price, although it could come, that, as I just said, already brilliant, but we did something exceptional with these. When I told Alex, my good friend, how much we were taking the Grand Didierite to per stone and the kind of carrot white we were talking about, he didn't, we had a bit of, fall out, but he wasn't happy with us. Because <laughs> he just said, you're actually mad to do that. And there is always a danger of obviously almost devaluing a gemstone, but you cannot devalue Grand Didierite. All you can get is an exceptional buy price and way below the market value here at Jewelry Maker. Ross, do you want to wow everybody with what we did? Okay, and I mean wowing. This is unbelievable. He's just half the price. Now I happen to know he's been a bit devilish. He's teasing you, aren't you? You little tease. Because we know, those of us that saw these originally, we know that is not the final buy price. We know that for a fact. We're actually removing a further £100 off that price. Collector, I won't say where you're from in case you don't want me to tell because I, I know who you are and can I just say to you, well done, I know who you are. Collector in the channel lines, I also know who you are, so I better not give your name away either, had I? And Ilva, I'll, um, again, I won't say where you're from in case you don't want me to say. 
Go on, Ross. If you could give everybody their buy price, those last ones will check out. Madagascan Grandidiorite. If you want to be a collector and you get hold of this, and I'll tell you what, you couldn't, you could even, because you do get three gemstones, you could even share that with two other friends and just pay £50 each. Couldn't you? You could pay £49.99 each, get your 25p authenticity card, share it with two friends and have a solitaire grandidia right each. Okay, guaranteed nine carats, as I just said, don't forget, one carat can command $20,000 in the industry, in the gemstone world. Um, it's a serious collector's gemstone. I'd also like to point out, we haven't just got you granted you right, we've got one of the best because it has been independently tested. We have been confirmed that it is some of the purest material of original source, Madagascan, Grandidi right, that is available. So it's the perfect specimen of rare Grandidi right for any kind of collector. And do you know what, at that price, if you don't mind me saying, you don't have to be a serious collector. You could be just like me. An everyday person that's worked hard for their money that can actually get the top, the position number three of rarity and expensive of all the gemstones known to man, as listed on the Forbes top 12 most rare and expensive gemstones. Check it out yourself. You and I can own that. Because you know when we, in fact I read an, an article on Alicia Dixon on the uh, airplane on the way back, because she's just had a, her, her second baby, hasn't she? And um, she was saying she started um, spending her money on genuine gemstones. That's what she started buying. Now, you think these kind of people, these kind of stars with that kind of money, they've got to put their money somewhere, haven't they? Now, we're not allowed to talk about investment. But I tell you now, that is a great investment of your time. That I can say. Now, Susan, collector in Edinburgh, collector in the Channel Islands, and our lovely Ilva, if you want the chance to own, you need to check out now. Because when I say this is the last two left, that is the last two. And I've just had an anonymous person coming in as well, and I get that completely. Of course, you are entitled to resell those on if you wanted to. And I think that's a great idea. Because at 149.95, that is easily the sell stroke buy price per stone there. We have one chance left. It's exciting, isn't it? You get the chance to own. I mean, I'm, I'm not being funny. If you own Grand Didier, right, you've probably got like the kudos of owning something far rarer than anybody else that you know has got. Just saying. Get the collector's box, obviously, but... Did you ever get them, uh, Rebecca? I did, yeah. Did you? Because we did the two strands as well. What did you get? Mm. <laughs> what, all of it? I got all of it. Oh, I, did you? I'm a gem collector. I couldn't yeah, resist you and me it. both, yeah. Because the thing I've is... Never, I've never used them. They're in my special, yeah. special oh, box. Oh, I, I, I bought one of the Grandidi right, just, just to say I own it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a real... It's a, it makes you feel like, oh, yeah. yeah. It's really special. Yeah. yeah. Really, really special. It's lovely as well. You know, sometimes like something's really rare, like a really rare painting, and you look at it, and you go, oh, I'll "Give you two quid for that?" No, but you know what I mean. Because it's, it's. I'm not being funny. You know, it's, it's personal oh, taste, isn't personal it? Personal taste, yeah. But isn't it great that it's the most beautiful colours mm. as well? Now, do you know what? We've been so, so, so. Good luck, by the way, on the last one. Last one. Why don't I do that? That's one. We've been so. I know. That's one. That's one. That's two. One. We've been so stacked with treats tonight. I haven't even mentioned the tanzanite. What tanzanite? Ah, I haven't seen any. Oh, tanzanite rounds. Tanzanite rounds, my lovelies. Rather delish. Are they not? Mm-hmm. Such a, such a, um, it is a lovely saturation of colour actually, isn't it? 20 minutes, of, oh, look at the colour from there. Ooh. We'll do, should we do that at nine o'clock? It's a nice little bit of graduation, do it there as well. Really lovely. I'm just going to say, there's granted your rights, right? I saw in Costco, other shops are available, I do grant you, but not in my world. Anyway. They've got a gin advent calendar. Not many, many bottles of gin, yeah? That's 50 quid. That's 50 quid! 
Mm. For miniature bottles of, in a gin advent calendar, we've just done Grand Diddy right for £50 each. I'm just putting that out there. Mm. I'm just putting that out there. Do I mention Costco every time I come on air? Yes. How many what, Donnie? How many gin advent calendars? I've bought a few, actually. I've got that many friends that are obsessed with gin. Let's start early. Is it true that Mark Smith has honestly bought all his Christmas presents? Is that true? Has he said that on air? I wouldn't be surprised. He's a very organised man. He is organised. He? He's very organised. I suppose when he's so busy, he has yeah, to be. You have to be organised, don't you? He has to be organised. Well, that means he's bought, that mean he's bought mine, wouldn't it? <laughs> wonder what he's got here. He's bought, sorry, did you say the word chair? He's actually, he's actually stopped having his um, lay-by kebab on the way home. He did eat it. Is that what he's done? I give all his secrets away. Poor, poor, poor Mark. Poor, poor Mark, giving all his secrets away. I've only bought one Christmas present, to be fair, and it's for Mark. I've bought one, and it's for Mark. Because you can't give a gin advent calendar as a Christmas present, because you have to give it on the first, just so it doesn't count. Now then, this is a scoopy scoop of multi-gemstones, all pear drops, all pear shapes, all faceted. Now I can see all sorts, I mean, we were just talking about Amazonite, we've got Amazonite, we've got, oh, look at these. These look like blue opal to me. Easily got a couple of pears there. I've got Labradorite, got clear quartz, lemon quartz, rose quartz, smoky quartz, Amazonite, Labradorite. Amethyst. Do you fancy all of those? Now I'm going to work. Actually, you know what? Let's have a look. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. No, right. There's some really good sizes in there. I don't guarantee how many specifically per stone you'll get, but I will guarantee a seven ninety-five. However, I happen to have in my scoop there. 30 solitaire pendant gemstones for 7 dollars Do you want to divide that by 30, hon, for us, Ross, please? Twenty-six, sir. Uh, beat me to it. What did you work that out to be, Rebecca? Twenty-six. Twenty-six and a half P, apparently. So let's go 27 P. Yeah. Per you one. worked that out very quickly. I did, didn't I? Very quickly indeed. <laughs> Twenty six and a half. They're, they're you? brilliant. If you've lost your mojo, oh right, and you've got a gem, one of those will spark your imagination, really? if not all of them. Oh, or if you're well, because stuck you've got in variety, a rut, you mean? yes. Or if you're stuck in a rut and you 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 find that you're constantly using the same gemstones, the same the same technique. Mm. Using one of those mm. will take you out of that comfort zone. Ah, and it's always good to be taking a great out idea. Comfort zone every now and again. Yeah, do you know what? I think we all do that at home, don't we? We get yeah. the same habit of eating the same food, or yeah, we buy the same, same yeah, yeah, Mondays or the same outfit. Or, yeah. yeah. Do you know, I haven't thought of it like that, you know. Mm. And we all, all, often get customers messaging saying, "I've lost my mojo. What can I do to sort of reignite it?" Yeah. We get that a lot. That's a really good point, that is, yeah. Rebecca. It, it, mm. it makes you think. Yeah. And it also shows you what other colours will go together. Yeah. Um, or how colours that you didn't think would go together now really, that I do really agree do. With. Yeah, absolutely. Even opposites on the, the colour wheel. Yeah. They yeah. they sometimes would clash, but yeah. somehow with gemstones they don't. Mm. No, I get that. Yeah. Good that. She's good point that. So, uh, lots of, and again, this is just one parcel. I know a lot of you often buy two just to see what difference you get. I get that. I think we've all done it. We'll all do it again. Seven ninety five. Brilliant. Well done, Ross. Well, well done, darling. That's a great deal, isn't it? Any of the bees left? Oh, I hope there's I want a few. There's a tiny few of the pendants left and a tiny for like four ninety nine each and a tiny few of the chains as well. Um It's gone completely. No, hang on, don't tell me again. Uh, it's back. Oh, did you see that? 
That was that when you, you we've all, do, 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 how many times I've done that today? I've gone upstairs and thought, what did I go up for? <laughs> oh, I do that every day. <laughs> Have you ever found your kettle in the fridge, though? No. <laughs> Do not tell me you've done that. I have. I've you've put, put your kettle in the I've fridge? i put the milk in the coffee and then put the kettle in the fridge and put... Oh, dear. Why have we still got the milk here? <laughs> Slightly alarming. <laughs> have you done that? Have it's you done when that? your mind's elsewhere. You don't, you don't How do you get the it? kettle? My kettle wouldn't go in my fridge. None of my shelves would be deep enough I've for me kettle. I've got fridge. <laughs> you've got a big fridge. You went off. My kettle definitely wouldn't go on any of my shelves. What are you? Oh, I've oh, only got my little, shelves. I've got one of those little stumpy kettles, the old-fashioned type, stainless oh, okay. steel. It's only that that high. Okay. So yeah, it fits. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. <laughs> my light's gone in my fridge, and I don't know where the light bulb is to replace it. Keep up looking. Again. Where's the light? Usually at the top. No, look there. Can't oh. find the light in my fridge. If anybody wants to come round, knock yourselves out, please do. I'm also showering in the dark because the light in my the light in my shower has gone. As well. Sounds like you need a good electrician <laughs> in your life. <laughs> I need a job, man. Anyway, right. Great thing is we've got six colours of lovely unusual coloured wires with the matching juicy big quince to go with them. Oh no, I like this idea. Now, Rebecca. Yes. You liking these, Missy? Oh yes, they're they're wonderful. They are, aren't they? They're fantastic for doing um, stacky bracelets. Yep. Because all you need to do is is measure, what, seven inches of wire. Yep. Put the crimp on one end. Yep. Thread the, the other end of the wire into it and crimp the crimp bead. So basically... That you are specifically made for, for that, that wire. Ah, is that what you do? So it matches, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Six lovely colours in these really... So just to show you, look, you get the matching, uh, you get six colours, three feet in each of these 1.6mm wires, mm. with the matching crimps. So you get two, four, six, two, you get six of the crimps of each colour. And let me just show you these lovely colours, right? Here we go. If I just show you those two, like a beautiful sort of pink and a deep, dusky rose. Yeah. Then you get these two, but that's it, six matching of the crimps as well. And you get those two lovely colours. Nice neutral tones, these, aren't they, as well? And then you've also got these two colours here. So each of these wires that, um, as Rebecca just said, make lovely bangles, 1.6mm wire gauge, with the matching crimps, perfect for sucker bracelets, yeah. which are still massively popular, in six... Oh, there's colours there. I've, not, I've never seen us do this before. This is lovely. Mm. You got these? Yeah. Um, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to realise you've got comes. everything. You uh, like me? Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I am an addict. We are an addict. Um, I can't remember the name of, the, of the chap who comes. Is it from Beadalon or from Beat? Oh, Smith? Wyatt. Wyatt. That's Wyatt. It. He's he introduced them. Oh, did he? And, oh, it sounds like lovely Wyatt, is it? Yes. Yes. Because ordinary crimps won't go over such a, a wide gauge. Exactly. Wire, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So that's why he, he created those oh, those big crimps. Good idea. Yeah. So twenty seven ninety five across all six colours with the matching crimps and the six crimps. It's lovely, isn't it? Thank you, my lovely. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, the biggest spider in my shower yesterday. Oh, he was massive. <laughs> Spiders, these spiders. Oh, is everybody out? Anybody that saw my spider on my Facebook presenter page, is anybody still checking under their pillows every night? I am. I am every night still checking and going under, especially because I've been away for like that. Did you know that apparently, <sighs> apparently everybody in their lifetime them oh. will eat 400 don't, bugs don't, a night? No, no, because that spider could have eaten me, woman. <laughs> the biggest thing Lord I've ever guy. seen. He could have just <laughs> eaten me whole. <laughs> He was like that. <laughs> they, oh, yeah. see, they get bigger every year, don't they? Well, this, I could have combed the and platted the hairs on this one's legs. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, darling. I just one? keep reminding myself that, that they are more terrified of us than we are of them. No, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> Oh, this is, oh, it's so sparkly. 
Sorry if I've just offended anybody you talking about the, our eight, eight-legged friend. Look at that. That's a great quality. you got to be... Oh, my goodness, that's good. Blimey. Oh, man. Can I show you that as an, on the neckline? Because that is the water sapphire right there. Oh. Look, oh, come on. That is such good quality, Isn't Rebecca. It gorgeous. I've got to see that up close. Sorry. Come on over. This is what I don't like about you being over there. I can't come see anything. Come on over to my place. <laughs> oh, look, look at, at that. that. That's what I mean. That is really good quality, oh. isn't it? The clarity on it. And is the sparkle on it as well. I know. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Oh, I love that. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, you're joking. No, you bad boy. Well, good boy. Bad boy? Good boy? <coughs> Car park job, that. Oh, oh, hello. You just caught yourself on the uh, on the knobs. <laughs> we all do it. Nine ninety five. It's a knob on a drawer. Drives us mad here in the studio. Wouldn't so mind then, if were twinkly, drawers. sparkly, knockout quality. Um, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! They are so good. So good. Okay, D O R U sixty four. You will get all the lovely. <laughs> Different. All right, Frank Spencer. You're not going to be allowed off your chair again, Rebecca. She's causing all sorts of trouble in the studio now, everybody. Uh, yeah, nine ninety five. Well done. Well done, my lovelies. Now then, we could if I knew where it was. Okay. Right, we had a kit earlier on. I don't know if there's any left. We had a kit earlier on that had 143 metres of wire and two super length strands of tiger's eye and gold ruthlated quartz. This had got six different gauges of wire <laughs> in silver plate and your two super length strands of genuine gemstones. We went to £2.22 a component, including a on a 100 metre wheel of 0.25 mil. And the whole kit went under £20. We've got an equally generous kit of wire in the next kit, in the next hour, with a demo, also going under £20. We still have the Tanzanite Star Vi coming up as well. So I would make sure you stick with us uh, for the next hour, if you can. See you after the break. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer 
and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. jewelry maker we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience with this in mind we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order when the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call center team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. admiring Lucy's opal necklace that she's wearing. I went, oh, get you. Oh, very nice. Um, now then, tons of night, tons of night, tons of night. Um, do you know what's happening in the jewellery market, in case you're not aware? You know, China, big old place. And as the economic rise is happening in China, more and more people are be get, being able to afford more and more gemstones, expensive gemstones that are key, like, spiritually to their, uh, you know, to their, to their country, like uh, jadeite. Now, the thing is, when the Chinese start to take a liking to something, obviously, availability diminishes greatly because more people can afford it and more people can buy it because the population is bigger. But then what happens then is, as the, as the, as the need for something increases in the Chinese market, and the, they take more of the availability and the availability diminishes for everybody else, it basically means that it, it will inevitably, and we are seeing signs of that already, of prices of gemstones massively increasing. And that is what will happen to Tanzanite. It's happening already. We're seeing signs of that when we go to buy the gemstone. It's quite frightening. Um, when we get Tanzanite of this caliber, and I'm talking, you're looking for color, you're looking for the cast, you're looking for the carat weight, 
um, the great thing is because you've got full-on saturation of color tone and I do mean full-on I mean Angeline who we went on holiday with this weekend who's a presenter over on Gemporia she wears the most stunning trillion Tanzanite ring engagement ring it's amazing and um, I couldn't take my eyes off it this weekend it kept catching the light in the sun the most dramatic color tone daytime and evening and it looks totally different in day versus evening Tanzanite is an electrifying Really full-on, passionate, vibrant gemstone. It will grab attention. Okay, so if you are looking for something subtle that's just going to go under the radar, this Tanzanite isn't it. This Tanzanite is full-on splendor. So, if you're talking about richly coloured AAA grade, now this isn't, we wouldn't class it, we would class this probably, I'm going to go to Paul Demers here because Paul knows Tanzanite really well. Do you reckon about a AA plus? Grade of color, yeah. Well, I'm just asking him for verification there because we start with a non-grade, then we go an A grade, a double A, a double A plus, triple A, quad A, and that deepens as the letters increase. Um, so we ask, we're guessing about a double A plus. So if you're talking a triple A grade and you get a one carat gemstone in the marketplace, you're talking about three hundred and three to four hundred dollars per carat, which in English pounds is about two thirty to three twenty five. Just to give you an idea. So the fact that you've got these big carat weights in a round, and the great thing is, because Tanzanite is 67 on the most hardness scale, can pretty much be worn in any kind of jewellery, whether you want to go solitaire. Now I'm just going to prove to you what kind of size solitaire that just one of those rounds would give you. Pretty impressive, yeah? Do you want to know roughly how many solitaire rings you could make out of this one strand? I'm going to say roughly because it's an average, yeah? Right then, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 20, believe it or not, 28 stunning Tanzanite on there. And they're all quality, look. Now there are single figures available. Can you also notice that we've got graduation, very delicate, across those 50 carats of knockout tanzanite. If you are looking to treat somebody to something really special, tanzanite has got this intensity about it. It's got this passion locked in because of that vibrancy of those colours. And the quality of the colour that you'll get in daylight versus incandescent light, so indoor candlelight versus your daylight, is breathtakingly different. Do you know one of the one of the factors of tanzanite that really affects the value? The colour. Really affects the value. So when we offer you a dramatic saturation of colour in big sizable solitaires in those rounds, you're getting really good quality. Not wishy-washy, not, not pastel, that beautiful tone. Because obviously the paler colours are, are, are sort of you know, more commonly found and therefore less valued. So as the colour deepens in saturation, the value increases. It's just inevitable. Makes sense. Okay. Four mil rounds increasing in size in that lovely curve to your six. Who'd have ever thought it could get a six mil round tons? I'm not on jewelry maker. Okay. Eh? K-E-J-N-1-8. You've got carrot weight. You've got these fantastic lush blues to violet blues. And I can only show you one color weight, one, one sort of color tone at the moment because I've only got this brightly lit studio. I can't take you into an indoor romantic candle lit. I could have took you to my lounge. I've got candlelight in my lounge. Mm. So then, this is the price on our website. Oh, I think that's spot That's on. a good price. Oh, I think that's spot Are you going to beat that? Are you? Okay. Oh, no, are you? But okay. 50 carats of tanzanite. In rounds. Now, what did I count on there? Was it 28? Hmm. 14 pairs of tanzanite earrings. Hmm. Okay, if you were to make a tanzanite pair of earrings in, let's say, sterling silver, because you wouldn't go any less than a precious metal, Rebecca, what would you sell a pair of tanzanite rounds for in four to six mil? 
40 pounds. 40 pounds? Mm. Okay, can we times 14 pairs by... I grant you've got to have your head pin and your shepherd hooks. Yes, that, okay. that, that would be including, okay, including yeah. that. Yeah. Can we times 40 pounds, sweetheart, by 14? Because 14 pairs on, the, on my strand. 560 pounds. Five hundred and sixty pounds, hon. Mm. Now that's ring. That's um, earrings. You could make twenty-eight solitaire rings from that strand. Now that's. A, I haven't got twenty-eight. I, I've got twenty-eight rather. I'm going to say that's roughly what you're going to get because you've got a fifty-carat strand. You're guaranteed forty-six mil. So the chances are you're going to have the same as me. Pretty much twenty-eight rounds of tanzanite on there. My producer. He's taking that. What's that per gemstone then you? <laughs> Brilliant here, isn't it? Two pounds thirty one per tanzanite of that caliber. Two pounds thirty one. Two pounds thirty one. Can you get a coffee for that in a shop? Can you get a coffee for that in a drive-thru? In, in a sort of cardboard cup? I don't think you can, can you? I don't know, because I don't do it, but... Wow. Wow. May I just congratulate the collector that's treated themselves to two. Those of you with it in your baskets, you know who you are. Now, can I just mention, somebody did message in asking if the Grandidia right was still available. We do have one left. One. So if you want that Grandidia right, we do have one available, all right? Um, right, Carol, can I just say to you, my darling, well done, Misha. I'm not going to say where you are because don't in case it's a treat for yourself, in case you're buying it for a, a, a really important... Um, it might, I mean, that, can you imagine that's wedding jewellery? With that something blue for wedding jewellery. Yeah, I don't want to say where you're based in case you don't want me to say. If you do want me to say, I will do Christine, Michelle, Carol, Collectors in there, um, Ilva as well, trying to get those. If you did want that grand idea, right, there is one left. Right, then I need to find out how many. Again, when you're buying Tanzanite, one of the first things you want to be able to prove is that you're buying the real deal. Okay? Do get your authenticity card. I mean, we've just taken that price down, £25. So we've saved you £25. For 25 pence, you can get your authenticity card. Yeah? Now, if I was, I don't know about you, Rebecca, if you were mm. gifting those or selling those, would you want to give the authenticity card with it to prove it's real Tanzanite? Um, I would certainly have the answer to that. Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the I same. Would. And if you've got a craft school, I've got all my authenticity cards in a little file. Yeah, I do that as well. So that yeah. if somebody asks, yeah. that and doesn't can't it, be real. And doesn't it look professional? It. it does. It really does. It does. Yeah. I think Amanda, Collector, Ilva, I think they've sold out. Haven't they? Sounds like night. Gone. Well done. Everybody's asked. Oh, okay. Um, I've still got it. Yeah, we'll use a recording anyway because we're struggling with time, aren't we? But yeah, right then, darlings. We have six of you with it in baskets. I've only got one left. This is one left in the whole of our vault. Now, Rebecca's got these. Mm. Fleur's got these. Fleur, I think she wears it every day. She, I, I, I believe so anyway. She has these set into sterling silver. This will give you the chance to own possibly one or two of your friends, um, depending if you want to split them, depending if you want to keep them all for yourself. Use your 30 day money back guarantee if you would please, because I'm telling you now, when you then do your research and you realize and find actually the penny drops of how much they should be, and how much they're gonna, if it was me and I made these into jewelry, I would be like, I, I would take them to, I mean, I'd take them to be valued. Now, there was, wasn't it recently that our lovely Hannah presenter had a strand of pearls 
one about 20 pounds rounds of pearls, if I'm not mistaken, mm. made into jewellery by Fleur, took them to be um, valued, and I think it was about 545 pounds, wasn't it? That's on a, like a 20, 20 pound strand of pearl. Can you imagine what that would be mm. if you took your grand Diddy right, which is number three, on the Forbes listing of the top 12 most rare expensive gemstones on the planet? Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter what I think is the most, you know, like for me, chrome top you can't beat it. But there's Alexandrite. I think Alexandrite asks about, commands about, 20, for a good quality Alexandrite in the industry, about $12,000 a carat. 12000 you think Alexandrite, we're all thinking, Alexandrite, $12,000 a carat. Grandidiorite, $20,000 a carat. Yeah. That's the difference. $12,000 a carat for a good quality Alexandrite to 20 Puts it into perspective, you then think, oh, right, okay. Now then, seven people have it in baskets. Each one of those solitaires is substantial. Guaranteed nine carats. Get your authenticity card, please. Please get that last one. Okay. Now then, we had a kit earlier going under 20 pounds. We're going to do, it, we're going to do another one going under 20 pounds, aren't we? We are. Yes, we are. Hello, Rebecca, darling. Hello. Hello. Let me just move on over. Moving up. Well done on those Tanzan nights. Well, I tell you what, Lucy. Oh, I'm the most amazing coffee tonight. Oh. Mm. Don't know what you're Mate. doing, but you like the Mary Poppins of the coffee world tonight. Oh, she's made a lovely cup of tea as well. Does she make another oh, cup of tea? Oh, might move back to tea, tea. Oh, yeah. No, she said I wouldn't. Right then, my lovelies. Um, okay, Lucy, thank you for the coffee, Lucy. Lucy. Oh, pre, pre and night. Pre and night. Right then, so these, just going to mention. Right, hang on a sec. 1.25, 1 mil, 0.25. Hang on a second, let's just get these right. 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. 1.25 as you put your 3 again, 100 again, so 143 again. Yeah. Wow. In all the gauges. 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 0 0.4, uh, sorry, 0.25 and 1.25. The uh, 0 0.4, no, 0 0.25 even, 100 metres. Yeah. 100 metres! Six gauges, going under 20 quid again. First kit I think is very... And it's champagne gold. What, what, okay, can I stop for a second? What makes you uh, sort of highlight that fact? Because we've got 0 0.25 and 1.25 in champagne gold that we hardly ever get. Mm. Get all the other gauges more often. Oh, these so this but is a bit of a. Uh, we hardly ever get. Oh. Yeah, getting them today. Mm hmm. Do you like the champagne gold one? I do. I thought you did. This is softer. Yeah. Softer gold. We have got. Jolly, jolly, jolly generous lengths of these two gemstones. Pretty nice. It's grey agate. Looks like grey agate, borderline with Botswana, doesn't it? Yeah. Can I have the lengths, please, sweet pea? It's yet again 82 to 86. And I'll tell you, 82 to 86 centimetres per strand. Do you know what, as well, though, if you put this with the first kit, with the classical tiger's eye and the golden rutile quartz, all four strands of genuine, genuine gemstones are going to look really pretty together, mm. aren't they? They are. They look gorgeous. Yeah. That's what I, d I did with the tree, actually. Oh, have you seen? When I ran out of wire, I did an autumn tree. Oh, the tree is beautiful. So it looks like the leaves are turning as they are right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. is lovely. Now, we've already promised both kits on the show tonight, and the first kit's practically sold out. Under £20 guaranteed. OK? All your different sizes. You've got 100 metres of your 0 0.25, 10 metres of 0.4, 10 metres of 0.6, 10 metres of 0.8, 10 metres of... Uh, oh, yeah, and 3 metres of 1.25. So you've got full-on structure. Now, the previous kit was start price of £35.90. Oh, I do apologise. I was nearly there. Oh, I nearly remembered, people. £35.60p. 
Now, if you were to add all the, and what we mean by that is, if you added that all up into your baskets for the proper price on Jewelry Maker, which is already brilliant, £35.60 for this kit. Sorry, that was the last kit. This kit's more expensive. Mm. Oh, look at him and that. Oh, is that in the tree of life? That's so lovely. Yeah, yeah. it's a sun catcher. It's not a pendant. That it's what it would be down here, but it's a sun catcher. Oh, that would be lovely, so, like a conservatory window, yeah, so wouldn't right. it? Yeah, so I use the pre-night as the lead and the agate as the, oh, the ground. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. Now, we're going to beat half price. We're not, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what we're going to learn some of how to do it. Yeah. Oh, he's lovely. That's what you can do when you get loads of wire. Oh my good, well you can tweet yourself, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like it. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, you ready? Wooden, woodland animal is a theme that we gave our lovely guesses on Rebecca. You don't have to do woodland, of course. It's just course a not. theme for today. That is awesome. Seventeen pounds eighty. Six different gauges. All that wire. One hundred and forty-three meters, and your three hundred and ten carats of your grey agate, and your three hundred carats of your pre and your nuggets there, in those incredible lengths of strands. And you've seen the kind of. I mean. Is it again two pounds twenty? Of course it is. Yeah, two pounds twenty-two per component. Again, brilliant, fantastic, awesome. That's an amazing price. It is, and you've really, really been allowed to go heavy on the wire in yes. these designs, haven't you? And I've used every gauge with this. Um, like the the neckline piece is the one point two five because yep, okay. it's really strong. Really strong. So it can be so that it top necklace. That shape. Yep. And and you can hammer that with um, a rubber mallet. Oh, great. The rubber end is so you don't mark the wire, oh, but it can still better. give it its shape. Yeah. Um, the tree is in 0 0.6. Yeah. This one, the owl in the tree, is in 0 0.8. Okay. And one mil for the frame. Great. And the 0 0.25 for the um, for the, the tree and the leaves. Yeah. Okay. Um, the ring is in 1.25, so uh -huh. we've got some shape to that. Hedgehog is the same as... Um, the rabbit, I so he's 0.25 him. for the balls, and then 0.6 to make his his spiky bits, his prickles. I'm actually yeah. in love with him. And the reindeer, um, I started making in the gold, but I didn't realise there were only three metres of 1.25, ah. and I ran out. Ah, right, okay. So I've done him again in copper, and he's a 1.25 frame with 0.4 wrapping. Right then, let's have a look how many of you are checking that cheeky kit out, because the first one's nearly practically sold out oh yeah this is going oh okay see this is the great what we're we saying if you love your wire you'll know what a great deal that is yeah if you've never tried wire yeah. and you're thinking about it that is a phenomenal starter kit even without the gemstones the gemstones are a bonus i didn't catch what you said we're good oh no that's a very yeah. good point yeah you should have been paying for this kit £37.60. If you bought the first kit in the 6 o'clock hour, 7 o'clock hour, and you bought this kit, you've got them both for the less than the price that this kit should be, if that makes sense. Wow. Now that is good value for money, isn't it? Unbelievable. Off across the pond of Pennsylvania to our lovely Lydia. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Not just sticking around in the UK. This is going everywhere, but off, off, across the pond. I wonder what time it is there. Pennsylvania. Must be breakfast time, is it? Oh, what is it about? I don't know. I don't know. Lunch time? Anyway. Yeah. Uh, right then, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Are we all right to go to a demo? 21 minutes past four. Oh, really? Oh, not, not, not as early as I thought it was. There you go. Can we do a demo, um, Ross? Can yeah. I go to do a demo? 
I say we, right. I'm not going to do anything to this. this. But what I wanted to show you first of all is what I promised from the first one is how to make a coiled coil. Ah, she because did say that's that, didn't what she? is going to go round the owl's eyes there. Okay. Okay, so I've done a full length of champagne gold coil. Mm -hmm. Thread that onto your 0.4, which goes through really easily. Wrap that round the hand, the end of the 0.4 around the handle, and do just with the core wire three or four wraps. Okay. Just to secure it there. Then lead your coiled wire mm. up to the mandrel yep. and then pinch it there just so it stays where you put it and gently start coiling and the mandrel takes the coil all the way around then you can speed up a bit five six seven eight nine ten I might get in lucky and get another one in there about eleven so you go halfway split your coil and do a couple of single loops, oh. and then let this go back up again. Two, oh, that's three, clever. four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Now oh, I've done too many. Never mind. We're going to have a lopsided owl, hmm. eyed owl. Just finish it off with a couple of coils. Yep. And snip that off. Undo the other end. Sometimes they can be even tighter to get off, but we're lucky with it this time. Yep, okay. Snip that off. And then cut it in the middle. There we go. And then they're ready to... I love those. They're my favourite. Oh, no. they you, can, you can then coil them again and put another, say, 0.6 over that coil. and mm. makes it really stand out. It's beautiful. So then we come to the wire uh, to the eyes and you need your 0.8 wire yep. and flat nose pliers or chain nose pliers I've done half of it already because it's all done in one piece I'll do the other side to show you oh sorry there we go that's one side mm -hmm. I'm going to go flat now so we can do the other side to match so I need to do a bend for the bridge of his head Am I doing that right? No, I'm not doing that right, I'm up, because I'm upside down. There we go. And we're going to come out about the same distance for his ear. Come under. Give it a pinch at the end. And then bring it back down. You can see I've brought it on the inside there, because then it, it holds the two sides together. Mm -hmm. Just give that a tweak so that it goes up and it makes those two the same size then, and they will be brought together later. Then bring in the large one of your six step loopers and da -da -da -da, into there. Bring it round all the way round once. Yep. And then you use your hands to make the inside loop of the eye. You just keep pressing with your thumb and your finger and you can get round on the inside. This is where you can put some character into your eye. You can yeah. make one go one way and one go the other if you wanted to. You will have an, always use more wire than you think you're going to need. Because that's never wasted. That can be the base of a ring. That pin, yeah, or a, or a, yeah, or a, a this, head pin, or yeah. And this whatever. is the thing. This is, this is the great thing when we have these copious amounts of wires and these great value for money kits. Yeah. You may as well grab them. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's the end, middle of that. Just squidge that down. Oh, so he's um, no, nylon no. coated yeah. wires. We coated wires just because it stops it from You're playing scratching. It safe, aren't you? Just playing it safe. Yeah. yeah. You never know. Just give it a squidge just to work hard on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we need to put our gizmos on. So we need some... What do I need? Oh, I must we use, use this. 
0.25. Okay. Or you could use your 0.4. Just going to go through the middle of your coiled coil mm -hmm. until it comes out the other end and we're going to attach one end round underneath his eyebrows or his ears I suppose they are. Mm -hmm. we'll just wrap it round there. Feed your coiled coil up to the bridge of his eye mm -hmm. and then bring it round and attach the bottom end into his nose. I don't know if owls have noses. They do, I suppose, at the top of the beak, don't they? Mm. There we go. Match that there. Just give that a couple of wraps. There. Then put your other one on. Yep. Be careful threading through a coiled cord because it does have a tendency to try and escape through, yeah, the, other, through the sides, especially with your finer wires. There we go. So you're, you're already attached on the nose, or his bottom of his beak, wrap yep. that round and attach it again underneath his ears. And I always leave working ends free, just in case I yep. need that to attach somewhere else. There we go. It's there's an his, owl, beak or bill. Beak or bill. Beak or bill, yeah. yeah. Beak or Not bill. Bob. Bill. Mm, yeah. There we go. So that's that bit. Mm -hmm. Then we come to can the I interesting show, bit. Can I just yes, show that? that? Do you mind while you're grabbing way. the next bit so we can see that up close and personal? There you go. That's lovely, look. That's beautiful. That'd make a nice brooch as well, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah, well, that's how I made the ring, actually. Ah. It's the same, similar style for making the ring. Like Joey's hair's on there. Yeah. There? Yeah, if I grab that, because we just had a camera shot there. There you go. There. That's lovely. Yeah. Okay. It's stylised. Yeah. Right, so we're going to make his wings next. Okay. I've already done loads of it because this is the bit that takes ages, but okay. I wanted to show you the last two bits of the weave. And what we've got is six of your base wires, which I've used 0.84, and I'm weaving with 0.4. And we're doing a lovely flame stitch. So we're going over two, all the way around the back, over the next, over the bottom three, all the way around the back, mm -hmm. over the four, yep. progressively getting one wire higher every time, over five. I would give you that sort of zigzag effect. Yeah. Yeah. Over six. Course, great piece of work, Rebecca. Over five. Yeah, whoops. Try not to let them cross at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Like that. I do mistakes deliberately on purpose. <laughs> we knew that. <laughs> Keep these wires as far apart as you can, just so you can get in between them. And it's if you do them too tight, you can't get in between the bottom ones when you're coming back down the hill. Mm -hmm. so over four, over three, over two. over one and go over the bottom one again just to give a bit of space in between one two three four I need to do one more of those patterns let's go over two over three mm -hmm. over four no that's three four yeah see how I'm laying it down yeah, there every okay. time I'm not pulling it tight I'm just laying it there mm -hmm. if you pull it tight you will give yourself problems. So put there and lay it down and then press it over the top, lay it down, press it, down five, then four, three, two, and one. And then do 
So I've done five there. Give yourselves about five wraps, five or six wraps, until we get to the end. And this is just around the base wire. Okay, now comes the magic with this weave. So we can't leave it like that because it doesn't look like feathers. What we're going to do, the first time you do this thing, it's all going to fall oh, to pieces. Do, yeah. But um, it doesn't. Start with your top one, number six wire, and just gently pull it out. Oh, okay. Like that. It's like a plunk. Yeah. Without the marbles. And number five. And number four. And number three. And if you have done your, your, your weaving too tight, this will be difficult. The, mm. hard, the further down you go, mm. the harder it will be. Yeah. And then the second one is usually the hardest, but you leave the base one oh, okay. because it needs some it structure needs there. To, yeah. Okay. So I'd already done one, one yeah. row yeah. of six with a gap of about 25 in between because that's going to be the V of his body. And do a double ring round, turn your weave over like that. Okay. And then because you've done five this time, yeah. they fit in between the six on the bottom like that. And then you can do another bend. Hang on, I'm going to bring that up a bit because it's not quite right how I want it. I'm just going to make that a bit bigger up there. There we go. That's better. It's the beauty of wire work. You can make it, you can change well, it. Well, you're in charge, aren't you? you want to. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So that's that bit. And then make a loop like we did there. Make a loop at the end with, um, where's my, make the same size loop at each side. Okay. So I use the smaller one there. Just wrap those two all the way around. That's it. Okay. I've done the size now. I can use those just to finish that bit off. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can snip those off. I'm going to leave it for a minute because I might want to use it again. Might use one, want to use that long one. Okay. And I might want to use my weaving wire. Okay, so that's that bit. Mm -hmm. Then we need to add a bit more detail in. So we've got just a simple piece. It's going to fit there. Mm -hmm. And all I've done there is um, my smallest on my six step loopers. Yep. Put it close to the one before. Loop round. Change your pliers over so that they go next to each other and do about eight loops on each side. The way around like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is going to fit in fit there. there and the way we do that is, I'm just going to pull off a length of this. I'll tell you what, while you get that ready, can I pop these on? Yes. Do you mind, just quickly, because I'm just conscious of the time. We will come no, back to you. On. Okay. Just that while you just get yourself ready for the next bit, I just need to pop these on, because we've been talking about woodland collection all evening, haven't we, with these kits. Woodland animals that we've had all day today. We've got the woodland Jasper drops Ooh, that we lovely. just thought was perfect for today. So if you fancy keeping with that theme and you've got any of our lovely woodland uh, pieces today or woodland themed inspired type designs today, we just thought this would be perfect because the colour tones are absolutely spot on. Look at that. Do you understand where we're coming from with that woodland jasper? They're lovely, aren't they? Really beautiful. And I mean, if you've got that with our kit today, look. I mean, it's just yeah, it perfection, perfectly. isn't it, with those grey agates in the kit? Really lovely. And it's a truly fast, if you like, if you like a lot of us here and you love, love, love uh, Jaspers and Agates and you love the mottled effect, you love the patterns, you love the different colour tones that all work so well together, the Woodland Jasper is beautiful. You've got to give it a try. Lovely drops, big, generous, genu generous even, generous, 13 by 18 mil, 
of the Woodland Jasper. And your price, Ross. Now, our little system has just played up, but $12.95 we're going to go to on those for the whole strand. And it, what's lovely as well, we've given you every single one of those is the same size. No graduation, all the same. Fabulous effect, fabulous markings on the surface. Yeah, and it's gorgeous. It is lovely, isn't those. it? Yeah. And lovely colourway. $12.95 for the whole strand of Woodland Jasper. Just, it's just ready to go, isn't it? Or a lovely, a lovely pearl knot in between there would look fabulous with those lovely um, carved shell leaves we had earlier as well. Twelve ninety five, guaranteed. There you go. It's good, isn't it? I'll just show you on the neckline before we go back to Rebecca and the owl. See, look, lovely autumnal treats. You're nice with your outfit tonight, actually, Rebecca. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. So twelve ninety five. Well done, my lovelies. Go nice with the rose quartz we did earlier as well. So then, how okay. are we getting on, lovely? Right. So I've got my row of circles that I've made. Yeah. And we just need to attach that by going in between the circles, down the middle of the feathers. Yeah, did it, did it. This gets a bit fiddly. So you can lift up one of the rows of feathers just to get in there. Okay, in between the circle, in between the feathers. It's quite quick to go in between the circles, in between the feathers. Okay, you don't have to do it on every one. It's better if you do because it gives it more strength. I'm just going to miss a few on this one just so we can get round. To the bottom. Make sure you do the V though mm -hmm. at the bottom there because otherwise it won't look balanced. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to nip up to there. Right, so you're going in between your circles, in between the feathers. Okay. Go down there. And finish it off up the top. Mm -hmm. Down. Now, remember when we were doing the other one, and when I was telling you about the gizmo, and yeah. that you can hand coil. Mm -hmm. Well, for the next bit, I've decided I don't want to hand coil okay. because I'm doing this. So what I'm going to do is I have I've got a V here that again I'm going to add in onto my circles just by going, this time it's more difficult because you've got to go through the circles. Mm -hmm. Just a plain bit, just to edge your circles there. I shan't do every one. There we go. Oops. Up to the top. Where's the end gone? <laughs> With this point two five, it's so fly away. Yeah, that um, you have to keep your eyes on it. I'm just going to attach that quickly at the top there, and then we've got this bit is going to be his wings. Let me just attach this side as well. So we're going through every circle. Yeah. Don't do like I'm doing and missing them out. Going through every circle. Yeah. This is just for speed. There. Just to finish that off. Then this is going to be his wings. They're going to go bend down and back to make his beak mm -hmm. and go up. But I don't want to spend time doing that. So this is the point eight and I've done a, a reel of coil that the point eight will just fit through. Oh brilliant. That saves a lot of time. And saves it? a lot of time. And we're just going to bend that round. V in the middle. Mm -hmm. Get your tools in there if you want to. Bend it round at the top. And I've got too much on there, so I will just pull that away. Mm -hmm. And hopefully snip it without snipping with base wire. Yeah, there we go. 
and it's snippy enough. There we go. Mm -hmm. Got a bit left over for later. And then all these ends here, you just thread into that circle that was at the end of your feathers. Okay. And all of those you can fit in to there. Okay, hand those away. Okay, so that's his beak. Okay. Like that. Come down there a bit. Then his tail goes in the V. Oh, and that is just different lengths, one long length of wire, but different lengths going round again. This is a further step down. I think it's the third one down. Mm -hmm. Like that. And on this one, I've wrapped it with... Can I bring him over? Of course you can. Yeah, can I bring him over? On this one, I've wrapped him round with an 0.4. Yeah. Makes it look quite sleek. But you don't have to do wrapping around there. You can leave him plain. I'll just hold that up. Yeah, go oh, on. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's all right. There you go. Just takes us a while to find it on that camera. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, makes so it very glossy, can, doesn't it? It does make it glossy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So instead of wrapping it now, I'm just going to attach it to the bottom V of there. To attach it, I just make sure is the bottom of his tail is there and then, then just wrap the end all the way round in front of his feathers. There's my flat nose gone again. There we are. Hold that steady. And just wrap round a couple of times just to secure it. Mm -hmm. And there. Whoa, that's one. Snip it off, make sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. Then put the other one up there in the space. Wrap it around once, and then I've just got to put his eyes on. Oops, I've ruffled his feathers then. You haven't, yeah. There we go. I only need to do it a couple of times just to be secure. If you had wrapped these, of course, you've got the, the wrapping wire, the 0.25 that you'll have wrapped his feathers, his tail with, that you can then attach that bit, right? We're coming up to the eyes. Okay. Now, somewhere here, yeah, I've got a weaving wire left here. So we can, where's his eyes gone? There they are. Right, I've decided I don't want that weaving wire there now because I've got this one here. And his eyes are going to sit just on top of his wings. Mm -hmm. And here's where we can knit through the weave. Bring it up on the inside of the, the wings. There. And you can go through the weave and remember this has got 0 0.8 in the middle so it's nice and strong and it's it's actually round the eight that you're you're putting this but it doesn't realize that through there back up through that hole pull that tight ish back down the next one all the way through there and it somehow automatically goes into the next coil. Yeah. Because it's a, of the way it's, it's woven down to there. When you get to the end of this coiled coil, go in there, darling. I do talk to my wire. There we go. Mm -hmm. When you get to the end of there, just wrap it around his bill a bit. There. So we get to the other side, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, we're nearly there. And a couple of wraps around here. I would do an awfully lot more than this. This owl's turning out to be very lanky. And there we go. One more. And just into there. And he's wrapped in. Oh, right, now that's going to take a lot of work to actually finish it off. Yeah. But you get the gist That's of it. Brilliant. So you've got a lot of layers there that yeah. when added together make that incredible make, design, doesn't I like it? That. that is absolutely fantastic. 
Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was brilliant. Really lovely. Is there any of that kit left, um, Ross? Yep. We had a bit more quantity of that one. Still mesmerised by that demo. Yet to check out. Kay, Mary, Ingrid, Collector, Maggie, Collector, 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 Francis, Collector. A lot of you got it in your baskets. Don't Ooh, forget that make is sure a you get it. better than half price deal. £2.22 for a reel of 100 metres of 0.25 mil, I think so. Yes. Um, yeah, well done. Now, uh, do think about checking those out, though. So, well done, lovely girl. Thank you. Right, now we had the woodland jasper in the pear drops, didn't we? Oh, in these lovely squares. Yeah, squares. they're lovely. They are really nice. Really lovely. And woodland jasper, again, like nothing else, is it? Not a single gemstone could be confused with that. They're adorable. It, it frames lovely as a, almost like a mayoral type chain in those sizes of 12 mil squares. Mm. We're practically giving those away at 7.95, you don't want me saying. Go great with Mookite. Really, really nicely with Mookite. Lots of lovely, um, beautiful tones. It's quite a neutral. Uh, those Mookite rondelles we did have earlier have, of course, sold out at that price point because it was silly. But lovely. There's lovely pinks in there, beiges, greens, creams. Really adorable, actually. Olive greens in there as well. Seven ninety-five. The mottling is gorgeous. It really is fabulous. It, it really looks like the leaves on the ground. It really does, yeah. Perfect size for a ring. Yeah. So the, in fact, I'll show you the perfect size for a ring. If I just pick one of them at random. There you go. She's absolutely right. Twelve mil square, perfect solitaire. Isn't it? Incredible. 7 95 Do you know what's going to go lovely with those, if you don't mind me, Ross? This is very naughty of me to do, but that's... Actually, that does go really doesn't well. Doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Stunning. It, and this is why we were talking earlier. It's great to have stashes of things, because yeah. I wouldn't have picked up Woodland Jasper with Kunzite. No, I wouldn't, until I've seen them Until together. we see them close together, and you mm. think, oh, actually... Spot on. Mm. Of which, darling, you'd like to know how many conversites I have, do you? I bet you do. I bet you do. With um, oh, two, all the same size, yeah? 10 mil. Ooh, 10 mil. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 41. Blimey. There should only technically be 38. We're giving you three for free. 53p for a genuine consite that's natural. You're very naughty. Naughty but nice, Ross. <laughs> 300 carats of stunning consite. Again, beautifully rare. Beautiful neutral tones. Pastel, gentle, ethereal. Very wearable, that, isn't it? If you get that with the, um, we did some lovely um, amethyst earlier in like a, a barrel design. Yes, they go beautifully, mm. wouldn't they? Yeah. It's such an unusual colour, comes out, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Twenty-one ninety-five. Now we've got to uh, race through a few treats for you because of the time. Oh wow! Goodness me, they're huge. Oh, we had those on. On Saturday. Wow. Yeah. How uh, have we got any left? Such depth. Goodness. Not just depth as in stepping stone size, <laughs> but... I mean, can I show you that as a solitaire? Look at that. Well, no, in fact, let's go cocktail ring. Definitely. Goodness gracious me. Zambian as well. Get in. Wow. I have... In fact, I think that's the sample I've got in the studio. That we've recorded there. Yes, it looks like it. It looks very it? like it, doesn't it? Yeah. 190 carats of Zambian amethyst. Wow. Now, you know, we've taken two of these incredible kits with all that 143 meters of wire and two 82 to 86 centimeter length strands in these kits on the late show tonight for less than 20 pounds. We'll go under 20 pounds on these as well. Despite the fact that you've got Zambian amethyst in all these great shapes and sizes and carrot weights, every single one is natural Zambian amethyst. 
Do I have to say that out loud, Ross? <laughs> Less than, he wants me to say, I oh, will then, I'll do as I'm told. 10 pence a carrot of Zambian amethyst. Yeah, golly. Golly. 18.95 for 190 carats of amethyst from Zambia. So best location amethyst as well for a lot of us. A lot of us think that's the best location that you can find on this gemstone. Ma every single one of those five pieces that I've got across the 190 carats would be a massive solitaire piece, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. And yeah. it looks beautiful wrapped in this champagne gold. So if oh, they've got the champagne yeah. gold one, they've got a perfect set. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd do a, a 0.4 netting all the way around so you could still see the gemstone mm. through. Yeah. XCVP36 on that lovely selection of brilliant quality amethyst. God, they're amazing, Ross. Aren't they? Okay, we don't have many left, I'm afraid. We are in single figures of availability, obviously. Very, very popular, that. Collector in Dorset, you're within a whisker. Oh, Janice, well done. And Karen, collectors coming. Oh, you've got that. Okay, well done. They're nearly gone. Well done. Congratulations. Zambian Amethyst. Brilliant deal. 18.95. Under five pounds for the. Oh, oh, again. These, these, these. I tell you now, if you like me, you've got a wardrobe full of silver grey jumpers for Christmas, you know, for winter. <laughs> and yeah. we've all, a lot of us have got them. You need that strand. I'm just saying. Yeah. That, that, that if you've got, you know what I'm, you know, you've got them, haven't you, Rebecca? I have, I've got grey jumpers yeah. that I use all the time. In, With like reindeer yeah, ones and antlers yeah, and stars right. and yeah, all yeah. those greys and silvers and yeah. blacks and that strand. Oh my word. And I think it's great for Halloween because it looks like uh, sort of spider's web, doesn't it? And pumpkins. And pumpkins, absolutely. Yeah. And again, I'm going to show it with the kit because you're grey agates with those. Absolutely Ooh, spot yes. on. See? I'm going to show you those, aren't I, mate? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to be a devil and wear them. Yeah, Look at that. They're a good size, aren't they? They are, aren't they? And go nice with animal print. Mm. Four pounds. That's silly. Brown frosted crackled agates in 14 mil. They're fabulous. They're lovely. With all that crackle, all that effect for four pounds. I think you're gonna love them. They're nice with yeah. your outfit as well. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. I, now, like those. I actually ha I want to show you these with my agate pendants, if I may. Because again. I think it's bad. It's yeah, they're going bad really again. well. Yeah. Do you see? Yeah. We couldn't have made that more perfect, could yeah, we? It's a perfect match of the yeah. browns there. Yeah, and here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It's just lovely. We'll go straight to your price on those. All right. Straight down. Oops, a daisy. Fourteen ninety five. Look at the look at they are works of art. Every single one. And I know I'm just gonna show you on the side there. A lovely depth to those. You can do lots. There you go. Look, see if I can show. You could do a lovely netting. Yeah. On those, you could, could do gallery wire on there. They yeah. look amazing. Or a prong setting, just so you can show that lovely pattern in there. Mm. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Fourteen ninety five on those pendants. Crazy lace is amazing it with is, those isn't patterns. It? I yeah, love it. It really is. You so, can get lost following the yeah, tracks all the exactly. way. Exactly. Really trace like it with the wire. Yeah. And, yeah, amazing. Like miniature Grand Canyon. Yeah. yeah. Can I just say, we've had a lovely, lovely time tonight with you. I hope you've really, really enjoyed the show. You've been fantastic. Thank oh, you so thank much, you. Rebecca. Well done. Do you know when you're back on with us? Not till Halloween now. I'm on the late show on the 31st. You've got me. Oh! Right. Yay! Just, yes, we are. Yeah, yes, we are. Good. Well, well, I'll normally wear like a Halloween top and a, you know, bit of, oh, I don't need to make my mm. face up, do I? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have a bit of fun. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you, team. Thank you, Paul, for stepping in. Thank, thank you, Emma, for stepping in. Ross, you were brilliant. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>